Uh, we live seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope see you're doing again. well. Fantastic. As is light indeed. Alright, I did a little bit of Factorio homework yesterday. T-Hex, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Veldak. Morbid Dragon, good to see you again also. Yo, first one in stream, damn it. <laughs> it's always Veldak. Tough to beat. Um, so yeah, I did a little uh, messing around with uh, with our train loader design. And I came up with uh, this thing. So I think by placing it there, I sort of triggered the condition as if there were too many bots. But yeah, this is a pretty big improvement over the old design. Um, we've still got... Just for the sake of circuit simplicity and not too many combinators, like not having one or two or three combinators per inserter here, uh, if there's less than 72, we still just use the one inserter. Um, so it could load faster, but I don't care. Um, but here's the thing. If we put stuff in that is not supposed to be there, or like extra stuff in, it'll just take it out. Uh, and it'll take it out quite rapidly. These three filter inserters here will do that based on the difference with stack size included. Uh, all of these other ones are only here for when we've decided to empty the train. Uh, and when we decide to empty the train, why would we do that? Um, so basically, I think I just send him somewhere where he'll get stuck. No, nope, we're good. Basically, if the train comes back and it's already full, we don't need to do anything, although apparently something happened here. Um, but it looks like it's sorted itself out. Um, if the train comes back with less stuff, let's bring it over here. Let's say the train comes back missing some rails, and it's accumulated a bunch of... I was going to put in stone and coal. Here we go. Uh, stone, coal... Alright. So it's got, it's missing some stuff, it's got some extra stuff, it's going to come back, and it's just going to make adjustments. We're not going to have to empty the train to fix it. However, there is one instance where we do need to empty the train to fix it. Uh, let's say we came over here, built something, and the train picked up a whole bunch of coal and stone, or it was deconstructing stuff. And there wasn't enough room in one or two or three of the cargo wagons for the bots to come back into the cargo wagon. Uh, in that case, the bots wouldn't start coming back until the train gets back here and we take out some excess stuff. And then we're going to end up with, like... Well, the bots are... Replacing some of the bots will probably get it imbalanced anyway. But let's say, theoretically... We still end up with the exact correct number of bots in the train. Um, and then more bots float back and come into the train. The moment we've got more than we are supposed to have... It resets everything. And once it's empty, it starts loading bots. Once it's done loading bots it starts loading everything else. And the reason we have to... There's two reasons. Uh, we need to empty the train and then load the bots and then load everything else. Um, we need to empty it because we can only read the entirety of the train all at once, so we don't know if the bots are balanced. Um, 
if we simply add the bots to, like, the list of stuff that we're trying to put into each cargo wagon, like, over here, um, then different cargo wagons are going to get loaded with different things before the bots, and they're going to be out of sync. So basically, detect that train is empty, start uh, demanding that bots be loaded, and then we wait until we've got exactly 147 bots before loading the rest. Why 147? Because I was going to do uh, 144, which is 12 times... What is it? 12 times 3? Yeah, yeah no, 12 times 4. Because uh, we're not doing any stack size management. Well, we can't really um, do any stack size management to put the construction bots in. So we're just doing full swings of the inserters. So it was going to go up to 48, um, but it turns out just because of signal timing, the amount of time it takes the signals to propagate over here, um, the first swing from the inserters are going to have a stack size of 1 because they're not receiving the S for stack size signal. Um, so that just puts one extra bot into each, which actually works out super fine. And, um, yeah, so once we have exactly 147 bots, um, we start loading the rest, just like we used to. Twisty P, Zura, uh, Hurix, Petri Cottontail, not Steel Mage. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What a nerd, thank you. Would locking a space in the wagons for the bots help to make sure there's always room for the bots to return? Um, not as much as you might imagine. Uh, and the, the stacks can actually get split in weird ways occasionally. Um, which I thought was a function of bots, but actually I've seen it happen uh, in the cargo wagons here, not just with the... Uh, how that problem we kept having with the Spidertrons last time. So, yeah, this is our new construction train loader. Um, and I am very excited to build it. Now we need to make room for it uh, right about here. Get rid of the old unloader. And... Well, that should be pretty easy, actually. Let's just... Park our construction train out of the way for a moment. Uh, and we won't be needing the construction train emptier anymore. Circuit S equals zero. Mm, never mind that. Um, Okay, so this is going to be a lot of work for the bots, but the sooner we get started, the better. Oh. Construction train over there is helping. This is exactly one of the big advantages of this new system as well, because it wouldn't actually matter that the bots jump out to fix this, um, it would self-correct, even if it might involve emptying the entire train again. Almost done. Fantastic. Apparently we're out of storage space again. Um, okay. That's a little bit of a worry. I probably need to do something about that. Oh no, it's the... It's not the storage space. It's the... The big train. Please go into... The emptier. And wait for... What? No. Wait for inactivity as well. Okay. There we go. I don't suppose we already have room for this thing. 
we kind of do mostly. Uh, where am I going to put this guy? Well, we can just cut paste this. And then. This can go here, I guess. Oops. All right. New construction train loader, go. Um, it does still have... I, I forgot to save the... the settings from the constant combinators, but I actually copied it from here, so... It should be pretty much fine. Alright, let's have our construction train park itself in here. And it'll no doubt empty. And then... Reload? Yeah, I kind of expected this. The moment bots are being put in here, they're doing some construction job somewhere. So as soon as this settles down... There we go. Looking good. What do you mean you're already loaded? No, you're not. Don't lie to me. Would locking a space... Oh, right. Sorry. All right, let's go build it downstairs as well. And we could probably use the exact same... Well, it's not really necessary to use the exact same system for the deconstruction train. I could always, like, just switch off um, all of this, all of these constant combinators. If I want to use the same train as a deconstruction train, um, but it's obviously, I, I think it's a lot more convenient if we have a separate train for decon. Actually, I think spiders are a lot more convenient for deconstruction, if I'm being totally honest. Um, how much, how much space do the spiders have? It's actually only two cargo wagons worth, but that's per spider. And you can put basically infinite spiders on one tile. Well, not on one tile. In a small space. Hmm. Oh, and they also have trash slots. Um, that's another 20. So 100 in total. Minus at least one stack for construction bots. Probably a good idea to take repair packs with them. Um, but yeah, wait, can we put, we can put vehicle roboports in the spiders, right? But then we'd have to sacrifice speed. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I already calculated the advanced additional electric engines are better than the best exoskeletons we can give them. Oh, no. I lied. No, no, no. Well, it, no, that's true, actually, because we can't put exoskeletons in the spiders, sadly. Dag nabbit. New station is looking good, both more and less complex than the previous system, which is cool, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Um, so I'll just run. There's a, I know there's a lot of wires, um, but it's sort of not that complicated. It took a lot of tweaking uh, to get it to actually work and like work around some problems that came up. Uh, but in the end, I sort of simplified it uh, as well, so it should be a little bit easier to follow. Um, so basically, we start by reading that the train is here. I, I made that red signal because I was going to use it on a... on like a latch, but I didn't end up doing that at all actually, so you could change this to whatever you want. Um, but we detect train. Um, yeah, nothing's even using like red signal input count or anything here. 
Uh, we detect train signal, train ID. Um, this doesn't do anything with that. It only reads... It's looking for the bot count. Um, we also read the train contents as well as stopped train, of course. Um, if robots equal to exactly 147, it means it's time to load the rest. If robots greater than 147, empty everything and start over. Um, and that just outputs red signal to this memory cell here, which is just going to say C for time to load construction bots. Um, and then... If everything is equal to train ID, that means the train is almost definitely empty, right? So all of these signals on the red wire, uh, if there's only one signal and that it, holy crap, 206,000. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure the space, I, I'm pretty sure the space elevator is deleting and spawning trains. That's how it works. Um, that's why our train ID is 206,000. Uh, but anyway, um, if the, if every signal is equal to this signal, then it's very likely, uh, that the train is empty. Once that happens, output C for time to load construction bots. Dead Sky, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Signals for days, indeed. Holic, welcome in. Any problems if the train parks itself backwards? Looks like it sort of sorts itself out in any case. Uh, it can't. Oh, I guess it can, actually. Yeah, it... Uh, hmm. Why have I never seen it do that? That's actually an interesting question. Can I force it to... go around the other way? How would I do that? Like, where would it go? If it goes down here... it has to go this way. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it just so happens that it never does that, because it never goes backward. Um... If I put it into somewhere like here, it should. But I just haven't been parking it in places like that. Okay, so now it's going to swap. And it's... I was going to say it's going to get confused, but no, it actually sort of didn't. I don't know why we take out, like, a couple of storage chests when it comes back. Um, but it's not really a problem. Anyway, we can always make it reset very easily. At first I was having it reset every time it comes back, but uh, eventually I decided that's really unnecessary. It takes a few more seconds. But yeah, um, it just so happens almost always the trains come back facing the same way. Okay, uh, what else was I doing? Oh yeah, I was explaining this. So if everything equals uh, train ID, then we know the train is empty. Output C into a memory cell, so we hold on to that thought. Um, if Train is detected, output one construction robot, times 144, uh, and then if C is true, output construction robot. So if the train is here, uh, and if the condition is met that we want to load the construction bots, ultimately output 144 construction robots across here. We've all, we also check for C down here, so if C is true, don't empty the train on those five out of six inserters there. Um, so this red wire over here, 
inputs 144 construction bots to the same uh, combinators that we were using before to pick a signal and get the stack size. And if it's greater than 72, we can activate all of these guys. Um, which, come to think of it, didn't I not see that happen? Or did I? Are we going to get all the inserters swinging to put in the first little, first few bots? I would imagine that would go over. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh yeah, no, that's right. I had to, exp I had to specifically go out of my way to prevent that. Otherwise we ended up with a loop. So this green wire here... Um, is just negative a million red signal, green signal, and construction bot. Oh, sorry, the red and green also goes to these ones, so that we don't get stuck trying to load red signal or green signal uh, into the train. Uh, and this green wire right here just has both of those plus the construction bots, so negative a million construction bots to these inserters right here, so that we never swing all of these to try and put in construction bots. If I turn this one off and we try again, uh, I think we get a loop where we keep putting in too many construction bots and then deciding that we need to empty the train. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then this little constant combinator here is just requesting a hundred bots in each uh, buffer warehouse, that's all. Uh, the only thing we've added to each of these sets is a decider that says if green signal greater than zero, you can pass all of the uh, stuff on these constant combinators through to the loaders. Uh, and I noticed I didn't actually need the green wire as well as the red wire over here. And then we've got similarly uh, if green signal greater than zero we can output all the negatives down to here so that if there's like excess Passive provider chests, for example, uh, we can multiply that by negative one, send it down this way, compared to the train contents, um, and remove if necessary. Uh, we also need to remove... Uh, yeah, we're never ever allowing these inserters to take out construction bots, we're only taking them out if we're dumping everything. Otherwise, we get some loop weirdness. And again, we don't want to pass red or green signals through here. And actually, I guess these two are probably not necessary anymore. Because we're not using an anything signal down here. We're just doing each. So that should work without those two negative a million signals. And go. Looks good to me. Fantastic. You know, we've got a lot of things that we put into the cargo wagons that stack to 50. What, that stacked to 50 and we're asking for exactly 50, right? Uh, maybe. No. I mean, it's not that many in this case. I think for the construction train downstairs, there might be more. Um. Yeah, there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things here. Uh, that we're only asking for 50 of. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, I'm thinking maybe I should reduce the stack size of these inserters so that they can help with the stuff that we're looking for 50 of. So normally it's 72, 12 times 6, right? If we're looking for more than 12 of something, this thing will be set to stack size 12. So 50 minus 12, uh, 38 divided by 5. We could set them to stack size 7, which would make them half as fast for the things we want lots and lots of. But we could have them help with the stuff that we're looking for 50 of. I wonder which would be faster overall. It depends on the load. Hmm. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. Alright, let's go patch this thing downstairs. And figure out what our... Um... Figure out what our deconstruction train loader is going to look like. I think it can look basically the same, but with more inserters to take out than to put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'll be good, actually. It doesn't need a custom job, but it would just be a bit better. Oh, is this actually empty? Yeah, I forgot about this. We can... We can make nice straight rail here. I thought I did this already. Provide threshold... Not very much. Come and get it. Short trains are long. Provide... Priority, a million. Get rid of it. Now then, uh, you can go back up the elevator, please. Rip bendy rail. <laughs> that boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's bring in. Our ultimate loader. How fitting that the construction train is building it for us. Um, Alright, so I think... We'll switch all these constant combinators off. So we'll take everything out of the train. We'll use the bulk rail unloaders one last time for this. Oh, and away go the bots. Good job. And then we just need to... I don't think we're going to need these combinators again. Uh, we're basically going to not whitelist anything. It's all going back to the mall. Every last bit of it. I see you're on Discord designing a new train dispatcher until 3am, indeed. Nice quiet time. No barking dogs. Um, so yeah, that should all find its way back to the mall. And almost nothing left back here for us to pick up. Also, we don't need any more media defenses here, do we? I think we have them in orbit. Oh. No, we don't. <laughs> Wait, did I? Hmm. Hold on. Search time. Uh, entity... 
media defense installation. No, we don't. I, ha I still haven't moved them into orbit. Hmm. Where should we put them? I'm thinking... I'm pretty sure we never need to, like, add anything else to central dispatch here. Maybe that'd be a good place? Well, the thing is, we've already got the infrastructure supporting media defense installations. Like, I'm going to expand the robot network down this way, and I don't really have anything in mind that I want to put here, except maybe the decon train. No, it can't be centered. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, there's there's a tank in the way. Let's be very, very careful with this tank that exploded uh, Assembly Machine 3 by lightly touching it with its side. Okay. And then we can get rid of this. That one should already... Oh, they have to charge. Well, I'm sure we won't get hit by meteors in the, the minute that we need for these to charge up. R right? Right? Don't think we need this wind power here anymore. And I need to port over the requests. Don't need the green wire. Oh, we've probably already put a bunch of stuff in those that we're not necessarily going to need. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, can we maybe empty these temporarily? Uh-oh, that's not what I meant. Can't say I'm surprised. And we will never need this unloader again. Actually, it's kind of where we get rid of this trash. Whoops. I'm sure it's fine. Wait, 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 no, 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 don't, don't connect those two, nope, 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 don't connect those two robot networks where this one is dumping literally everything into this chest. <laughs> that can wait a minute. How about I decon this and put it here, and then active provider go burr. Seems not good because we're apparently trying to put landfill. Okay, let's just not worry about keeping decon train loaded while we do all of this. Can I reverse this? Oops, I didn't realize there was so little I could just pick it up. It's fine. 
Sydney Kenson von Ice T. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's empty all of this and all of this and all of this actually. Fantastic. I haven't included the fuel input from that blueprint, but oh. Well, that works. Um, but it's probably fine. And that's the last of the old stuff. Fantastabulous. Whoa, that's a little scary. There we go. Do I have bots? Close enough. Close enough. Oh, and the new system is probably already. Uh, are there bots on the way? There we go. Yeah, it's going to get imbalanced, which is fine. It should sort itself out. This is actually a really good test. And it works. Look at that. Now, I just wish I could get it to stop reporting that we're full when... Don't tell me. That's 146. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hold on. Shouldn't we still be trying to... Oh, because I set this to 144. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be 147, actually. And now we load stuff. But... But I didn't turn these constant combinators back on, so we don't have anything to load in the boxes or being requested to be put in the train. Exactly 49 bots in each. Perfection. Okay. Knob, welcome in. Wakes up at very odd time. It's just 0735 and they had slept for like Five hours. Ouchie. Careful, there is train traffic, indeed. Should be updated. Is all the mods on Discord? Uh... I think that's all the Factorio mods. I don't update the Factorio uh, mod list very often. I mean, I, I, I don't add mods or update the version. I don't want to mess with that on a very, very lengthy save. Which train does this bot belong to? Probably this one. Yeah, I think I see what's going on here. Oh, right, that doesn't work. Uh, blacklist nothing and put it on this side. There we go. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Love it. And we can make an even better version of this if we're happy to have only one cargo wagon too, because we don't have to worry about uh, only being able to read the entirety of the train as opposed to just one cargo wagon. So you probably wouldn't even need the special stuff. Like, you wouldn't have to dump everything if you're putting in construction bots. You could treat them like any other... Um, any other item that you're putting in the train. Power pack. 
Fantastic. Uh, and we do need to empty the train, the locomotive, of... used up power packs. Are we charging them up here somewhere? Uh, yes. Not very quickly. It's probably fine. We've got 42,000. <laughs> oh no. I think those come, came from somewhere else. We've got 42,000 charged power packs for the moment. I don't think I'll stress too much about that. And then... We're still not emptying this? It's just taking its sweet time. Do we not have storage? We've got storage. Hmm. Looks like the bots are prioritizing putting things in the buffer chest first. All right. What should we focus on next? Ooh, AI core is being researched. And that means we're doing uh, science pack threes. Products finished 62 times 6. We have made a whopping 372 science pack threes. Uh, almost half of which are sitting here because provide stack threshold is uh, 1, which means 200 packs. So we're not doing any research right this minute. That's weird. Why do we have no Bio 1 over here? Normally... Huh. Oh, I think I probably reduced... Massively reduced the requests for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There must be like 200 Bio 1 packs in here somewhere. There's 28. Oh, but the request stack threshold is one, which means we have to be completely empty to deliver them. I think we could maybe be a little bit more aggressive than that. Instead of waiting for it to be completely out of one type of science pack or the other... Should I set it to the 10k that I want to set it to for all of the ones we're established on? The thing is, I've limited it over here as well so that we only actually get like 200 uh, in this container before we start making more. Well, why don't I just... Why don't I just put the tier 1s up to... Ten thousand two hundred, and see if that makes the entire base collapse. We've got a lot of saturated uh, inputs right now, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing if we bottleneck on some physical resources for a while. Oh, and uh, I need to update these. Let's see. Provide stack threshold 50. 10k. And over here. Uh, keep going until we've got 10k. Then we need to update that for the other ones. I won't set all of the science packs uh, to go that far just yet. If we go and make Aeroframe Bulkhead... Wait, don't we have Aeroframe Bulkhead? We do. 
somewhere. Uh, we haven't made catalog four. But I could go ahead and get Aeroframe bulkhead delivered here. Um, what was I doing? What was I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that constant combinator? Keep making Astro Science packs until we have 10k. Uh, we've done material, we've done astro, energy, seance. 10k. Provide stack threshold 50. I don't know if I did the provide stack threshold over here. I did. What about this one? I did not. Alright, so don't bother picking it up until there's a whole cargo wagon of science packs for that one. And last but certainly not least, expensive is bio. Keep building them until we've got 10,000. That's going to take a minute. Especially since we only get two per recipe with bio one. But I'm pretty sure it works out to be a lot cheaper for the lower tier ones anyway. Alright, so Astro got its precious aeroframe bulkheads. Fantastic. That means we only have to make the four data cards to get Astro 4 going. So it's not that far off. Energy is probably in a similar place. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Material is... Do we have heavy composite anywhere? Like, at all? I think it was a prerequisite to make... Um, the one we were just looking at, Aeroframe Bulkhead. I could be wrong. It'd be nice if we had something between just this surface and all surfaces, actually. <laughs> because it's looking on every single planet we know. Or every planet, every planet orbit, and so on. Wow, that is... That is actually taking a bit longer than I thought it would. We do have them. On Nalvis of all places. Really? That feels weird. What about... Not all surfaces. Huh. Why do I have heavy comp... Oh, did I find heavy composite at some point? That might explain it. Looks and heads back to bed. Have a good sleep. What level prod mods are in the labs? Only threes, unfortunately. Um, alright. What do we focus on next? There's so many possibilities. Oh, how's our new outpost? Uh, our new old outpost going? Um, I'm pretty sure it's been working just fine. It's totally saturated, actually. And... It's ready to accept another ship. However, there's actually way too many iridite core fragments back at... Back at main base, so that's fine. We're very, very saturated on iridite core fragments. We can increase our iridium production whenever we like. We still need to update a bunch of these uh, old production chains. It's a lot. Kind of want to do something new. Um, we were working on matter 
Yeah, 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 I remember. We found that the matter fabricators are extremely energy expensive. And we can't use modules in them in any way. So I was looking at the energy cost and decided to build this thing. Um, once we're finished scorching Nalvis, we might point the energy beam over here. It's like 3.3 .3 gigawatts, I think it is. How many of these would we need to support that? Um, let me check real quick. Energize, Gen Orb, and point it here. Efficiency is a bit over 50%. I remember it was very, very slightly below that. It was still over 50% if we point it at the planet. Um, but the bottleneck of Sending power only six gigawatts through the uh, space elevator made me decide to put this in orbit, even though we have to train the ice up here. Um, but yeah, if this power plant gives us 3.36 gigawatt, then seven. Seven energy beam injectors should be enough. To run it at full capacity. We don't need it just yet. Um, so I'm going to just keep putting all the energy into autoclaving Nalvis. Damn, that was fast. Which is... Going pretty well, honestly. There's still a ton of ground to cover, but progress is being made. And we can finally uh, reduce our save file footprint once that's done. Oh, 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 what about uh, Wexavis? Wait, that's not Wexavis. Wexavis is down here. It's the Vizana system and it's Bombato that I was thinking of. Proportionally, we are closer to finishing clearing the biters on this one. Uh, we've finished scanning it. Still going to take a while. I don't know if it's been changed, but you can run two elevators to get 12 gigawatts. Yes. But the problem is the scale of the power that we need for um, for the matter fabricators. If we want to go like three per second. So uh, for better and for worse, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, I guess it's mostly just for worst. Uh, you can't put modules in these things and beacons don't do anything. Uh, which is definitely for worse because this 10 megawatt for running the wide area beacon is nothing. Uh, it's, it's slightly more than the minimum consumption of one of these machines. When it's working, it costs 258 megawatt, more than a quarter of a gigawatt. Uh, and if we want... Uh, let's see... Let's say we want three data cards per second. Uh, we're looking at about nine. Let's say ten. We're looking at 2.5 gigawatt for one type of data card when it's being made. So considering we can put six gigawatt up a space elevator, uh, we're looking at almost one space elevator for two types of data card um, being made continuously with the material fabricators. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit much. That's why we're building the energy beaming. It's probably more UPS efficient if I just spam. Well, let's see. 
885 kilowatts. Um, how much was it? 255 or something? 258. 2580? Wait, wait, wait. What was the solar panel set to? 800, I think. 885 kilowatt. So, 885,000. 258,000,000. Thousand. We need 292. Uh, well, two, 291 and a half flat solar panel twos to support a single material fabricator. Um, what's that in a square? Oops. Is that a rectangle? No, it's not. Okay, so how much is this? 49, 7, sevens. Uh... Eighty-one... Hundred... Hundred and twenty-one... Hundred and forty-four... Is, is, isn't it gonna be like... Fourteen or fifteen... Squared? That's 196. Two hundred and twenty-five. Was that what we calculated, more or less? It was eight eighty-five thousand. Two fifty-eight thousand. Thousand. Two hundred and ninety-one point five three is what we need. So probably two more. Yep. Two hundred and eighty-nine. So this is almost enough. This is almost enough to support one matter fabricator. I guess it's not that bad. Let's say we're doing like ten of well, that's only for the tier one, I was just thinking of, just realizing. Oh. How do you make the tier 2? It's not in a matter fabricator, thank goodness. Matter... Manipulation data. Happens in a matter plant. It's only 25 megawatt. That is tiny baby power. That's like a core mining drill. Matter plant. Uh, it does not... It does accept modules. Okay, so we can all but ignore that by comparison. So the uh, so the tier two catalog, all of those cards are made in these machines. So let's say we have ten of these per data card build, forty in total. Uh, we would need about forty times this just to support. The material fabricators. I mean, we can, but it's going to be a lot more space efficient. And once we have um, high temp turbine generators, not very UPS costly. Um, I mean, I know we've got, like, infinite space, but obviously, but, like, I don't want to encourage the save file to take even longer. How long you got to the, how long until high temp turbines? Um, it is matter science pack one, and we need tier four of everything. So that's four, eight, sixteen, uh, sixteen... 20. We need 20 new data card builds. 
before we can get that. How long did this already take? As in, how old is this save file? Uh, no, not ignoring the fact that we're sometimes below 60. Well, we're actually always slightly below 60 UPS now. Uh, 24 days, 4 hours. Yes. Oh, I love this. It's a lot of excess bot work uh, to empty the train every time a construction bot jumps out saying I'm helping, but it's fully automated. I don't have to do a thing, and that is the main thing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Also, our research just continued. Fantastic. Where's our science? Now we can actually see if we've got Bioscience Pack 1s. Here come a few more Pack 3s. Fantastic. Oh, advanced research server is almost done. Nice. Is there anything else that the advanced research server gets used for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need them specifically for the matter science packs. We were designing those yesterday. Okay. Speaking of, uh, of which, let's work on... Matter Science Pack builds, and I would like to have the usual layout of I.O. if we can. I can't remember... Goddamn, stack size 1. I can't remember, I was going to put two of these builds together because of the way they deal with junk and fluid. Uh, probably the two that output broken data cards, maybe? Uh, this one both in- both of these two input and output, uh, particle stream as well. This one's actually net positive. So that's a really, really, really good match. Three types of junk and two of them are shared. Yeah, I definitely want to design this one first. Um, so we're going to go with... I need to think about where the output stations are going to be, because I think if I try to put the final products here, we might have a bad time. Alternatively, I could do some smart loaders for once. Since we need one, two, three, four, five output stations otherwise. On the other hand, I don't think we're going to have trouble having plenty of space. Could I even put this here? No. Hmm. Can we fit? Yes. And then... Kind of like that, but no. What if we had all the junk down here somewhere? I think this can work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually kind of cool. Michael, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, can we not fit a constant combinator here? We can. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll put all of our junk here. In these three output stations down the bottom. And 
we can fit, I think. Uh, standard pickup stations. Like, they're not really. I think that'll work, actually. But... Well, here's the thing. The junk output stations would block the stuff that we actually want pickup stations. Oh, there's not enough room with the signaling. We could always put the outputs, like, here as well. Or... Alternatively... I'm pretty sure we still wouldn't be able to fit the signals if I do that. Yeah, no. Just barely. Okay. I think I'll just do the output stations like this. And we can have the high priority junk removal stations blocking the main pickup stations. That should be fine. Because I can't put these signals here. That's not going to work. Alright. And then same thing on the other side. And like so. Seems good. Alright. And we should have plenty of room to do our thing with these. If we have ten of them, that's actually pretty easy to fit. Or is it? Drop-off station, like so. We need one, two, three solids, one fluid in. One, two, three solids, one fluid in, and it's the same fluid. What's our rate? For It's four stacks per second for material testing pack. I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't worry, we're not going to build all of this just yet. We'll leave some of the machines out. Um, until we have much more stuff. One, two, three inputs means two belts or a sushi belt. What's our rate? 20 plus 4 plus 4. I could do like a half belt and a shared half belt if I wanted to be needlessly fancy. But we want to have plenty of, well, let's see, 300 stacks here. That's six train loads. We could request like a train load and a half of these two and up to three train loads for the material testing packs. That should be fine. I don't really want to push it all into one container. So I think we'll just do... Plain old... One belt for material testing packs. And a shared belt for the other. No bacons for this build? They don't do anything material fabricators, which means we're stuck with 250 megawatt consumption. Individually, they pick up like 
two per second for one resource, barely anything. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Superior inserters. I should be putting these everywhere. They'll be slightly better for UPS. Less time that what an insert is doing has to be calculated the better. Okay, how close do these have to be? They need to be three Bs, just barely. And that fits perfectly, actually. Very nice. And then why don't we do this one here? Like so. It's why core frag miners don't work with them either. Beacons to work the building needs to support modules, indeed. Can't wait for future version for planets with electric storms. It will have effects on buildings like negative speed beacons as applied. Nasty. Is that all it's going to do? It sounds, it sounds like it should be scarier, actually. Okay. Uh, and in theory... I haven't done all the math, of course. Uh, but in theory, we might need to be able to take away um, particle stream because this one's actually net positive. So I guess what I can do is just have a drop off for the particle stream. And down here, we'll have a pickup that's like provide threshold really, really high. And of course, we'll use uh, encoded network IDs so that those two stations don't interact. Okay. Flip that one around. Of course, the train stops in the way. How about just for the sake of symmetry, we do something like this. And we're looking for... I guess it doesn't really matter which side is which. I kind of want the testing packs closer. Oh, right. That doesn't really work out naturally. Alright, testing pack... Goes here. And then we've got radiation data, hot thermodynamics. Rad data, hot thermodynamics. Hot thermo. Fantastic. Since we only need three solids and our filter inserters have four slots, we can do the input like this. Wait, what? Oh, set filters blacklist. I almost forgot. Fantastic. And then we just need to... How about this? I'm pretty sure the fluid flow is pretty slow, right? Yeah. It's like net 40 per second. Okay. How about... Like that? And we could do the same thing on the opposite side. Just like this. And huge storage tank. Wherefore art thou? That's not the right category. Right about here should be fine. Give me a steel pump. And... 
can just go here. Maybe that could be like a seven? Oh, that's perfect. No, no, it's not. Bruh. One off. Still, that doesn't look too bad. Now, by having a train deliver uh, thermofluid, not thermofluid actually, particle stream, uh, we're naturally going to get a not full container, which is good. Um, I think we will... We'll probably just set it to only... Uh, to, to aim for this to be half full like we usually do. With 60% of it for the request threshold, so it's not going to be that accurate or anything. At most, it'll go to almost 120k, if we ignore the fact that this part's net positive. Now, this side's going to be net negative, but we don't know that we're going to, like, produce more of these. Matter analysis data. What does it get used in? Just catalog. And I think the matter liberation data actually gets used in both the catalog and, like, everything else for conversion. Though not in large numbers. Uh, so this is... Yeah, meta, meta liberation data. 1% of a card gets used to turn some resource into a bit of particle stream. And then I think you can pay Particle Stream to get uh, various resources, basically. You pay Particle Stream and a little bit of matter liberation data. What, wait, what? Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Matter synthesis data, actually. Plus particle stream, plus super cooled, gives a uses up one percent of that. Uh, gives us iron ore, contaminated scrap, and we have to pay energy and a little bit of material because of the thermofluid cycling. Okay, so it's not uh, what is it called? Matter liberation data. It's it, that makes sense actually. I was kind of expecting something like that. Um, matter liberation data liberates matter from being that type of matter. And then matter synthesis data turns it into something else. Is it right click? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Synthesize this or that type of matter. Um, but still, um, that does mean we're going to be producing more of this than this stuff. This one net consumes... F this one consumes 15 particle stream per recipe, and this one produces 10. It depends on how much matter liberation we're going to be doing, but we could end up net positive on particle stream here, in theory. So I think we'll just say pick up if 190k. That's 19,000. Yeah, so the maximum will end up in here, which is the same fluid uh, like network. Based on the requests is just under 120k. If this gets up to 190k, we're going to pick that up and take it somewhere else as a priority. And then we need encoded network IDs for these two. They just need to be mutually exclusive. Uh, the default encoded network ID basically says you can interact with any other station. So this just needs to say encoded network ID 1, and this needs to say encoded network ID 2. So they're on different channels. 
And then... Let me just flip this. It might actually be perfectly symmetrical, so there's... Oh, except for that one little piece of pipe. This is going to go here. Byproducts, indeed. Got to bring the center belts down some. The center belts down some. What do you mean? We, we can move this up a little bit if we have to. You know, all of this is already linked up the top, so I think down here at least we'll do it like this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then... We just paste that in and... Give it the second recipe. Or... Wait, no, it was uh, analysis data, wasn't it? Matter analysis data. Good morning, Biosoup. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Not seeing where that's going to fit. Where oh, what's going to fit? Inri Inri, welcome in also. Albion Mine, I think I said so, but welcome just in case. Good morning. Because of your stream yesterday, I started my own run of SEK2. Nice. After 200 hours last year of SE to win, I expect like 300 this time with K2. Indeed. It can go down center. Which can go down center. Oh. Um, which symmetric... Uh, which sim symmetry do I value higher? I think I'll move all of these over one tile. Because that's going to line up with a fluid drop-off up here as well. Not that we're going to need it, though. Because I'm pretty sure... I should probably have the fluid drop off on the side that actually consumes. That's uh, fine. It's probably fine. I could also have fluid pick up up here instead of combining uh, this station. We could have some symmetry up here, uh, and fluid pick up and drop off up the top. By being a bit smart with our LTN settings. Yeah, 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 I definitely want that to line up. Also, we don't have that container down the bottom to mess up our... To, to make us make a hard choice for our symmetry. Let's copy paste this part. And then this is going to be quantum phenomenon and quark. Where be the quarks? There we go. And then... Same thing over here. Cool, cool, cool. This is looking quite good. Now, we're going to have a uh, drop-off on the right side for fluid, and pick up on the left. Drop-off because this is the side that net consumes. 
Not that I think it makes a significant difference. Uh, the fluid flow in this one is quite slow. But uh, just in case. Uh, how many tiles is that? 16. That's like the worst number I can think of to fit well with the long pipes. It's 5 and 3 and 5 and 3. Hmm, how about a couple of sevens here? And then we have ten tiles here, which is still too long for an underground. Gross. Let's do that. It's fine. So this will be a drop-off. That's very straightforward. I don't have to think of anything clever here. And this over here is going to say, it's actually really easy, because it's, for solids it's just a request stack threshold, and for fluids it is a provide threshold. Uh, which should be almost full. Let's say 180k. I know I was going to say 190, but I think if there's three train loads in this container alone, uh, if we are 90% full, and it should only ever get to like 60% full, based on what the trains drop off, I could do a smaller request amount. Well, no, the request amount is going to be... Yeah, no, no, the threshold's going to be 60k, but I could make the request amount, like, 70 or 80k. How about 75? So... If we're down to 15k, we bring another 60. Yeah, so it should be less than half full, um, based on just the trains bringing it, and if we're net positive from, uh, from this lot, we get plus 10 particle stream for each data card. So let's ignore all the other pipes, we've got 400k of storage here. Um, this will be up to... Uh, 75 over 200? 0.38% uh, th full, based on the trains. Uh, what's 62% of... One hundred and twenty-four k divided by ten. We can do a hundred. We can do twelve thousand four hundred data cards of metal liberation data after we get the maximum, the absolute maximum particle stream delivered before we end up with these being full. And it's only five thousand. So so two and a half train loads. If there's, like, no trains to come and pick this stuff up, this gets down to 15k, we deliver 60k, none of this happens, and then we just exclusively keep making matter liberation data, and no trains come to pick up the particle stream from here, uh, we would end up with, like, two and a half train loads of matter liberation data before we run out of storage space for the particle stream. That seems fine to me. Um, so we're going to have... I want to use the green one for this. We're going to have provide threshold 180k for the fluid and request stack threshold for the solids. Easy as that. 
And we can't allow short trains to pick up the fluid because we need long trains only to drop off the solids. Provide threshold. Cool. So then... Uh, we want like a train load and a half, or if that, of the data cards. Radiation data. 7.5k. Don't we consume those really, really slowly? Four per second. Yeah, not that slowly. And what was the other one? Hot thermodynamics data. And uh, I want at least a couple of trainloads of material testing packs. Make it three, why not? 10 hundred times three. And that should allow the trains to keep up with it despite the very rapid draining, uh, draining of stack size of 10 testing packs. All right, so over here, actually I want these up here, just to be consistent. I wish you could click and drag these things. Hot data, and 3,000 testing pack. Okay, and then we've got Quantum, Quark, and Testing Pack. And I definitely feel like using some fancy floor for this. Let's get the belts working first, though. Output rate. Uh, 60 contaminated scrap per second. Ouchie. Plus 4, plus 3.2. Okay. It's way less than one deep space belt. Um, we've, we've still got some deep space belt lying around. We could absolutely just use that. And we need some splitters. On second thought, could I just fit it with basic belt for now? Probably. Maybe. Do I care? I'm only going to build, like, one or two of these machines each until the late game. Whatever. We'll just put this here for the obvious upgrade. And down here. And we need splitter. Well, here's the thing. If it's coming from both sides... Okay, I think I know what, what I want to do. I'll use a splitter to get the main product. And that's going to go in here. We'll use the usual... That won't fit on that side. Allow up to 1.4 train loads to accumulate. Just put it in here. Where's my undergrounds? Oh, God damn it. 
this over here. Why not? And we'll have a little box over here for sorting. Input, like so. And same thing on the opposite side, except we're looking for matter analysis data. Can go over here. And then we need to filter these to the appropriate stations. Um, probably use a splitter and only allow long trains to pick these up. Just because. We want unlimited storage for the junk. So what what order should I put these in? Junk, broken, and uh, contaminated scrap. Just arbitrarily because that's the order they appear here. So broken. Junk. Um, something like this. I kind of want it to go like this way, actually, just so it's not over here. And contaminated scrap. Oops. Contaminated scrap. Uh, I guess it's going to look a bit like this. Maybe I should make the container bigger. Holy crap, that's a lot of scrap. This would go here. Eh, it's fine. Maybe I should have done the one that outputs contaminated scrap on this side. Just so it can go straight here. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Cool. All seems to be working. Let's do some station names. Don't know why I've still got blueprints that have the wrong settings right there. All right, so this is, uh, what was it called? Analysis data? There we go. This one is lib data. And need to bring your input belts down on both sides of the left build. Oh, this one? Indeed. Thank you. And yeah, that's looking pretty good, I think. Alright, let's get rid of the cheat inputs. Let's give it some space. And let's swap in some fancier floors. Because why not? Actually, let me do this first. Why, why don't I do it this way? And 
then jump to it a little bit. That looks kind of neat. Looks kind of weird somehow. Oh, is there scaffolding here? Still? Yeah, there is. I think I want to make sure. ones as well. I don't know why it doesn't replace underneath those uh, buildings. Okay. I guess I need to be a little bit careful about replacing them now. Just do it manually. goes here. Wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> this goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Da, da, da. And don't forget the fluids. Oh, we also need to do encoded network ID one and two, just so that these two stations won't interact. almost everything. Bit more... bit more fancy floor. That gap kind of looks pretty cool actually. For the most part. Why is this? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's fine. And fill this one in. That looks weirdly neat. And I know the uh, substation pylon doesn't actually need floor under it, but that looks kind of cool. Obey the rule of cool. Alright, I think that's our build. First half of Matter Science Pack 1. Uh, which data cards was it? Matter liberation data and matter analysis data. And give it the usual snap to entities, tiles, train stop names, no cheat items. Uh, we've still got space platform scaffold because that's behind the solar panels. And that should be it. Snap to grid. Looks good. Cool. Should we build it now? Minus a couple of the fabricators, of course. Where should we put 
uh, Mata Dada. I hadn't really decided. Like, my big plan was basically, broadly, material in this direction, energy, astro, and bio. Um, and of course there's Naquium, there's deep space science to consider. We're gonna want to be nice and close to the space elevator. And... I guess, more importantly, the pickup for testing packs, which are actually not saturated right now. Huh. Oh, wow. We might need a lot more train to move the testing packs, or maybe there's something wrong with it. Nope, we just dropped off testing packs. I may already have two trains for the testing packs. I'm not sure. I need to catch them. Yeah, we do. We do have two trains for the testing packs. I don't even know what we're spending them on, right? No, that one's picking them up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we have a couple of trains bringing testing packs up the elevator already. Um, but that's actually our bottleneck. If I cut this guy off here, we could wait and see if another train is coming for them. But yeah, uh, the testing packs are right next to the space elevator for a reason. Okay. In any case, uh, we definitely want to make sure we have a short trip for our trains. If I catch... If I click this right before this guy goes through the spell evader, I'll probably see if there's more than one. There might only be one. I think there's only one. Yeah, there is only one, I'm pretty sure. Near material because it's the same color-ish energy science? Yeah, I'm definitely thinking down here somewhere. Uh, maybe down the middle-ish? How about between energy and material over here? We want energy 4 to be like here-ish. So I'm thinking this area should be fine. For matter science. Nice and close to where we've already got some testing pack storage as well. So we could maybe build the first one here. Pink science near purple for OCD sake? Yes, that's that's the other reason. Okay, let's grab our big ol' scaffolding train. It'll probably have to make a couple of trips since I'm not holding that much space platform plating. Wait for inactivity. And then go and do it all again. With any luck, two trips will be enough, but I have my doubts. Let's see, we got like 2.1k plating, and we're looking for... What? No, is that the wrong build? What? Oh no, that's the... Oh no. That's the catalog build. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll we'll fix it. Bonk indeed. I'm glad I was gonna check and estimate how many train loads it would be. Alright. 
there's no floor under here, is there? Doesn't look like it. So how much is it on that blueprint? 3.3k. Two trips should be enough. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I think I'll put the uh, catalog build here because... Well, wait. Partly because we've got this train right here at the moment. Uh, but the real reason was because, look, we've got catalog, 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 catalog in a row. That's kind of nice. And park yourself here before you leave, please. Oh, there's poor bots. Why are... Why do we have a diamond? Almost. With these power poles. What? No. Bad. Why are you like this? Um... Yeah, I was gonna say, there should be enough scaffolding. Cool, cool, cool. Back one. And... We're almost finished researching advanced research server. Exciting. We need another train load or two of Bio 3 science, it looks like. I guess we can go and build the rest of it while we're waiting. Ooh, look at this lovely loader. I need to do a proper loader for the, uh... For the scaffolding train as well. And then... Over here. Wait for inactivity. Wait for inactivity. And I just realized there's not going to be anything here yet. Mostly. Well, we can at least fix these wires. I have to wait until we don't have ghosts here. Oh. Did I accidentally remove... No, that should have enough range. Probably. Is, is this really all we're building right now? Oh, I think I... I think I removed the request for pipes for some reason. Yeah, I did. Because I was making room for all the stuff we were building just once over here. That's probably it. Wait, how do we have 9,000 degrees here? I thought I saw we had 8k after the temperature had spread to the heat pipes. And I'm pretty sure we haven't heated this up again yet. Oh, no, I remember. It was literally the, like, 10 seconds that I pointed the beam here um, to check the efficiency. It was, like, 52% uh, efficiency to send energy beam from Calidus. Indeed, they are bulk rail loaders. Indeed. What are the buildings you have sitting over the tracks? Some kind of train loader. Yes. Hazrith, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... Um, how much can we actually build here real quick? Am I going to be quick enough? I am not. It's fine, actually. Now we can... fix these weird power poles.
also this one. And this one. None of that, please. Cool. Much better. Oh, we're missing some pipe. Where's our construction train? Looks like it's loaded. Perfect timing. And please park yourself over here. Then park yourself over here. And did we get all that plating? Oh, there it is. Perfect timing. Actually, it's going to bug me knowing this is here. Wait, how was this here? Oh, I think it was scaffolding. No? It looked like a gap. Symmetry for the symmetry gods. And for now. Uh, you know what? Even less than that. <laughs> Just a couple of machines per build. And we haven't actually built the fabricators yet, I don't think. What goes into a fabricator? Let's see if it happens to be convenient stuff. Oh, it's already switched over. Tier 6 modules! Oh no. Git Gut. Git Gutu. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, should I make a handful of these? What do we need matter science for again? <laughs> I can't really think of anything that I specifically wanted. It was the main reason I was building matter science already. Uh, let's see. We need it for Naquium anyway. Nanomaterial. Yeah, that leads to high temp. But that's a little bit further away. I don't really feel like designing, um, I don't really feel like building higher tier modules just yet. It's probably going to be a huge drain on resources anyway. What resources do we have? We've got all of them, right? Except for Naquitite at this point. Yeah, I think it's just throughput until we get an aquatite. Unless you count methane gas, which I don't care about. We're getting methane gas that we're going to have to deal with as it is. Holy crap. Oh, there's a pump there. Still, that's a lot more than I was expecting. Missed placing a bulk loader on the bottom right of the matter build. Bulk loader on the... Oh. How did that happen? There should be a gap here. Yeah, that is weird. Or maybe I manually put that back or something? I don't remember doing that. 
How do I know if my PC can handle this mod? Um, good question. It depends on how big of a scale you go for. Ram speed is probably the most important bottleneck, I would say. Oh yeah, where's our construction train? I do want to get the... Please tell me it's working. Please tell me it's working. Please tell me it's working. I think it's working. I think maybe it was an extra piece from the previous build that you accidentally put down. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. The one that I placed there accidentally. Ayaku. Rouse, rouse. There we go. Let's go get these two built as much as we can. And I'll have it do another lap. Why not? Alright, most of that should be built when we check back. Even the most high-end PC will lag eventually. It all depends on how big, big your base is. Yeah, that's pretty much true. Um, all right, well, that's... You know what? I kind of feel like designing the rest of Matter Science, or at least Tier 1 Matter Science, uh, even if we're lacking the Tier 6 modules to build the Fabricators. Ironic that we need modules to build these things that refuse to accept modules. Rude. All right, give me that space platform plating, and show me what we need to do for the other two data cards. So this one outputs junk and contaminated scrap. This one also outputs junk and contaminated scrap, but also junk, uh, regular scrap. We have one solid in, two fluids in, and this is three solids, one fluid. So if not for th this part, if not for the thermo fluid here, uh, we would be able to copy paste edit the build that we just made actually. I wonder if I could still adapt it a little bit. Because it's very convenient uh, as far as the three solid outputs go. We'll probably keep that much. But I don't think we're going to have room to do ten machines. Which is probably more than we need anyway. Um... When we have the double fluid in. Yeah, we're going to have to separate these by one tile at least. Um, what if we do exactly that? And then... And then we'd need one more tile because... Because these two have to be separated. Ravna. Well, we still have room. And then if this goes down two tiles... Is it really going to be that easy? It might be. Uh, pipes might be a bit of a nuisance.
Oh, wait. No, never mind. I didn't change the recipe for this one yet. Alright. Oh, this would have to be different. Uh, yeah. Can I rotate it like this, I guess? No. Like this? No. So I can't actually put them in pairs? Unless we have... Uh, I don't like it. There's only one solid input, so we don't need the double belts like this, at least. Miss Kit, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I kind of do want these to all just line up, but if I do that, I would have to have two more tiles, two, two tiles separate between every single one of these, and that's going to add up. I kind of, just for the sake of consistency, want to have ten for each. So if it's going to be like this... Well, that one could be either way. That doesn't look so bad, actually. And then... Kind of like this. And thermo fluid goes here. That's a good fit. Don't tell me it's not going to be the same on the other side, is it? Oh, and we need thermo fluid down here as well. We'll tweak those pipes after we see if the rest of this will work. Uh, this needs an extra tile of separation, as these two are inputs. Nasty. This doesn't have to be like this, but let me see if I can make it work as is. We definitely have some room to go up here. That's thermo fluid, actually. That's not the one where we need to go up. This is. Then, like this. It's going to need a longer piece of pipe. And then this goes here. How many tiles is that? I think it's nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So 
So tentatively, we've got that on that side. Can we do basically the same thing on the opposite side? Let's see. Looks like it, so far. Where's the... Oh, right. Where's the input? Uh, that means this one's wrong, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. It's actually looking like it... Oh, no. Oh, no. And this one... Should probably face like so... That doesn't look right. So this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Is it actually just symmetrical? I'm very pleasantly surprised so far, fingers crossed. That's gonna need a longer piece of pipe. Unlike the last build, this won't be linking to its own input. Alright. Don't forget this inserter. Let's test if the fluids line up where we want them to. Looks like they do. Yeah, that's, uh, it's actually looking pretty good. Thermo fluid and particle stream are quite slow. Yep, they've all... Oh, this one doesn't have thermofluid. Just needs a copy-paste. Perfect. Alright, that's actually looking pretty cool. We can move it up a little bit more if we need to. We're only dropping off one solid, so we don't need a filter or anything. Yeah. We'll have to... If I don't move all of this up, we'll have to mess around a bit with how we get our solids around. But that should be okay. Let's see how this build's gonna fit. That is... Matter Containment Data. 
and we've got a need for 28 items per second in over 100 per second out holy crap uh that's faster than a deep space belt how fast is this one 63 and a bit okay how many data cards 5.6 we probably don't have to build this anywhere near as big output on the second row on the left is not connected this is true so uh how many of these do we need for like more than three per second wait does um containment data get consumed other than science is it a prereq for something it is matter stabilization data and also matter utilizer all right uh the fact that this is going to be a lot faster than than usual is probably fine how many inputs three solid inputs so we should probably just keep the belts as they are change this one to canisters was it mag canister it was and then we've got force field data pressure containment data pressure containment data And it's just got the one fluid in, no fluids out. Fantastic. D hose, thank you very much for sticking around for three. Very, very nice, thank you. And welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that obviously doesn't need to go there. And these won't be connected, will they? Oh, they both need particle streams, so maybe. That should be fine. Um, we just need to... Well, I'm going to need another uh, a thermofluid drop-off as well. Which fluid is slower? Thermofluid by a lot. Uh, if I... Hmm. I haven't left a whole lot of room for two fluid drop-offs here. Can't really put the huge storage tank there. Uh, I could do what I did in one other place. That's only 50k. It's less than a train load. So I'd have to have, like, storage tanks over here. Also, does that even reach? No, it doesn't. I wonder how I set this up last time. I could always put the thermofluid somewhere else, but it's going to look kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking we probably should just have a shared uh, particle stream. Maybe I could just drop off the particle stream here and have one fluid drop off up here. That makes a lot more sense. It's only 600 per second for the entire block. That should be fine. Probably. Add a pump somewhere if we need to. Um... So in that case, put this back where it was. Don't forget the wires. And I guess we could 
put this constant. No, that doesn't quite work. We could put it over here. It doesn't look great, but it's pretty. It's fairly consistent with what we normally do. Or I could just. Put some underground belts here. For the symmetry gods. How far is this pipe going to go? Nine. Give us a three over here, perhaps. And a pump. Because I think this side actually consumes faster. 200 per second. No, it does not. It does have further to go, though. And we're not recycling this kind of fluid anywhere. Where would be the best place to pipe it over? Maybe through here somewhere? Nice and symmetrical. Just like that. It's probably fine. And then... This will be our thermofluid. Four tiles, how dare you. Alright, since it looks like we're sticking with this design, let's see how... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. See how these line up. 7, 10. Let's do a pair of fives down here. And then that has to be a onesie. That can be a three. That can be a five. Or maybe this could be a seven. Oh, that actually fits. Nice. And how many tiles is this? Ten. Let's try a seven up here as well. That's not going to reach, is it? I could always put a pump here, but I don't think that's necessary. And another seven. That's actually really neat. Cool. And we've already got basically the same thing here. Um, alright, I don't suppose... Can we use the exact same thing here? We can. Oh, it's so beautiful. For the most part. That'd be, what, a three? That should be good enough. Alright, so... If I delete all the fluid... We should be able to get it to populate where it's supposed to be, just from... Just from a test input over here. Looks good. And... taking a while to catch up. How, how much input does this hold on to? 100 each. Well, we'll soon see if that can go full speed or if there's a pipe throughput issue. Uh, we're going to need some deep space 
belts for this to go full speed, actually. And apparently an upgrade planner won't do the job. Where... where's my deep space... deep space belt? There we go. Uh, and for the moment, just void it all. We're gonna need more than one deep space belt output from this one. Um, but I don't really care about that just now. Let's do some tests. Set filters blacklist, shift right, shift left. I just realized we don't need it on that side. Uh, we also definitely don't need this stuff in here. Whoops. Okay. Why do we have no inputs over here? Looks like they're all working. Seems good. So what about the fluid? Uh, I think either this one or this one should be the hardest to get particle stream into, and it looks like it's having no trouble whatsoever. Pretty much instantaneously resupplied. Only one of these two options works. You can reduce by two pipe by moving the top one up on the right. Moving the top one up. As in the machine? And, and ruin my lovely symmetry-ish? Or do you mean like... I don't know what you mean actually. Uh, this one seems to be totally fine already, except for the whole needing two deep space belts of output thing. 60, 100, 106, 108 per second. Yeah, it needs a little bit more than one deep space belt. We've got plenty of room for the output down here, though. So I'm thinking we can probably cram it in here somewhere, somehow. Um, we could, yeah, we could probably just... Four of these is... over 40 per second, which means the rest can fit on one belt. And we'll just underground it like this. That's actually incredibly easy. That doesn't go as far as I thought it would. Hmm. Easier to do what Inri said? Backseater Alliance? You can replace the two one pipes and the seven pipe with a nine pipe. The two ones and the seven with a nine. Oh, true. Yeah, there's no connector to it. Fantastic. Nice soup. And that makes it incredibly neat, actually. Also better for the for the liquid throughput. Alright, um so how much deep space belt are we looking at here so far? How much output is this? It's almost all scrap. So this part doesn't need to be deep space. We do need a splitter there. Uh, 
and then decide what we're going to do about this. Maybe I'll just put it a little bit to the to the side. Except where's the output going to fit? What are we outputting here? Junk and contaminated junk. What do we get the most of? I think it's got to be 100 per second contaminated scrap, 60 scrap, 2.8 junk. Do we get any junk from the right side? We do. Okay. We get everything from the right side and everything but regular scrap from the left side. So what if... I find it funny I can't do an upgrade planner there, but I can place this on top of it. What if we just put another splitter here for the regular scrap? To go straight in here. How much scrap do we get? Uh, 60 per second. Nasty. I'm being stingy about this because we've, we've got a finite supply of, um, deep space transport belts for free that we can use. So this right here is going to be, uh... Contaminated scrap and junk data cards. Hmm, since junk data cards are so slow, even if this is going full speed, we're getting 2.8 per second with a stack size of 50. We could maybe go for junk data cards in here. How fast is the rest of this? 40 per second. So that doesn't have to be... deep space. So we want contaminated scrap over here, and junk data cards here, or vice versa. Probably better to have the junk in the middle, so it's a shorter... shorter trip for the stuff we're picking up most often. And then, maybe I could put this, like, down here. Should probably reshape this a bit. 100 contaminates. Holy crap, we still need more than one belt for the contaminated scrap. How about this? Just like we did over here, but with contaminated scrap. And then contaminated scrap goes in here. And I might have to Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. So on this side, there's less than one deep space belt of contaminated scrap. Between the two of them, there's more than one deep space belt. Uh, and they're both going to come in from different sides. And we maybe don't need this container, actually. Depending on how we go about it. Just another splitter over here. It's a lot of splitters. But we need lots of belts anyway. Contaminated scrap, 40 per second. We can put a regular splitter here. And 
How about a deep space under? Can it fit through here? Just barely. Oh wait, this can be regular. Just, so just like that. And that should be everything. Can we remove all of this to check if it's working? Are we still just... Oh, I haven't set this filter right yet. We need the... You're joking. Oh, good. I thought I accidentally had this set to matter liberation data. Matter containment data. It's two waves instead of three. Okay, I don't mind if we actually get our final products in here. Actually, leave that there for now. In fact, just put this here so that I can see what is flowing out of it very clearly. Well, I'm pretty sure... Oh! Forgot to put the filter here. Junk... Goes here. Fantastic. Junk's gonna be so slow we don't need to delete it at all, actually. Alright, looks like that's working. Uh, let's make sure we get this one working again. We need thermofluid output, actually. Let's do it down here, is what I would say if that station wasn't in the way of a pump. Hmm. I could do it here, but I don't really want to use one of the most active, no, the most active output station. Well, okay, how often would we need to pick this up? A hundred thermofluid per second means... Uh... One train every 600 seconds or 10 minutes. Um, if both blocks are running at full speed, we get 100 contaminated scrap per second, which is two stacks. Um, so one train every 50 seconds? That's not that bad, actually. Right? 5,000 divided by 100. Yeah, 50 seconds. I think we can probably... Probably just put the thermofluid output over here. It's not like this side's using it anyway. And we should just be able to squeeze it over here. Perfect. Perfection. That actually fits beautifully. And that's already connected. Beautiful. Something's wrong with our output here. It's probably the fact that we're putting contaminated scrap in here. This is supposed to be contaminated scrap as opposed to scrap. So is this going full speed? Mm, I'm going to say no. How much is this? 
36 plus 24 plus a little bit per second. Sixty-four point eight per second. That should be far less than than what fits on this belt. Oh, how much scrap are we making? Sixty per second. But that's all going through deep space belt. Uh, so why, why is this output blocked? Probably because the contaminated has to go through here. So cont contaminated plus, well, everything except for the purple cards has to go through here, right? That's probably the problem. That's over 100. Um, I don't really have want to have to put another splitter for that. I guess I could put a container. I don't really want to do that either. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what if I took... Scrap away first. all it takes, right? Which data card was it? Double wavy. How much scrap do we make? 60 per second. It looks like it's still not going full speed. Why is that? Body contaminated per second. Very little data cards per second, trivial junk data cards, 40 plus junk data cards is less than 45. Sixty scrap per second, forty percent of it comes from here, sixty percent of it from here, they both go into deep space splitter, and a dedicated output belt for it, made of deep space belt. It's not bottlenecking here, we can see gaps. Oh, was it just still draining? It looks like it was just still draining. Okay, cool. That actually makes complete sense. Cool, cool, cool. I think it's working. I see all the cogs moving simultaneously. I see correct outputs. Uh, 
And I see we're about to fill up on contaminated scrap. Yeah, that seems good. Now let's check how much deep space... Uh, it's actually only 92. Oh, I forgot. We don't have twin. We don't have deep space loaders. We didn't find any of those. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure we don't need any deep space loader. Uh, loaders? Question mark. We probably do need deep space loaders here, but I'm not that fussed about it. It's like 10% of max speed. Um, but the individual machines for output are certainly not producing 90 items per second. Um, but yeah. We've got 92 belt. We've definitely got that. Six splitters. I'm pretty sure we've got that. And I know we've got four deep space undergrounds that we can use. Let's have a look. See if it's all under one color. I think that they're in here now, actually. Deep space. We got 200 yellows, 20 yellow underground. Uh, 10 yellow splitters. We could also use the cyan colored ones. Wait, I think we're a little bit short. No, I was looking at red. Cool, cool, cool. Let's use cyan. Deep space. Belts. Should have done this to begin with. I'm pretty sure I remember... Well, I, will, I was pretty sure I remembered that we do, in fact, have enough cyan for this. Splitters. Whoops. And all of this, right? Cool. And I'll just double check again. 5, 4, and 71. Uh, there's still a black splitter somewhere. Here it is. Those are a lot easier to see, shockingly. I know. Um... So what is it? 5, 6, and 71? 4, 6, and 71. Four, just enough. And plenty of the rest. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll just temporarily make these regular space loaders. And now we just need to do the stations and stuff. You missed some black belts on the right side. Did I get it? Oh, is this it? Yeah, 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 you're right. Pretty sure we have more than enough for that. Launched another 500 collectors, got 65 spheres. Total launched 4,250. 100 launched from everywhere. Nice. Check splitter filter for left side. Which one? I think that's correct. What, what are we... What are we looking for? Actually, let me just delete those. Missed it all good, no worries. Commander K Kazai, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. 
everything in one container and filter it out is not an option. There's, I was doing that at first, but this pipe is kind of in the way. And then I decided to do this. Schnutzki, welcome in. Holy, that's so much output. Wait till you see some of the material science builds. Actually, let me let me go find one. His his uh, impact shielding data, which gives us one point five scrap per recipe. Uh, we're looking at two twenty five scrap per second. This one's one hundred and thirteen. 368 per second for the whole block. This block gives us 57 per second. 65. 48. This one's 90. It's a lot of scrap. 44. Impact shielding data is my favorite, indeed. What's not to love about... Train go into wall, much scrap come out, and doing it over and over and over again. This is this is how science is done. You gotta have that good sample size, you know. Not gonna limit these ones. I am gonna limit uh junk data cards, just because they're super slow and this is more of a convenient way to balance them. Alright. Provide stack threshold 100. Provide priority high. This one should have fluid, actually. Provide threshold 60,000. Don't forget to tell LTN what we've got. And the rest should be fine. Let's delete the cheat items for both input and removal. And then space. And then we'll add a little bit more plating as we desire for the sake of the look of the thing. That actually looks kind of cool. I love the 45 degree angles a lot of the time from the... Oh, there was a gap here. That looks... It's a bit too inconsistent. Almost looked cool. Maybe keep that as it is? That's a little bit too busy. This part looks kind of neat. Kind of weird consistency there. Hmm. That's fine. Kind of wait. No, no, no. Be gone. There we go. And then. And then. Oh, 
missed that. That actually looks kind of neat. And you can just have a gap there. Uh, or not a gap, rather. Oh. That looks pretty neat. Why launch a car into a wall when you can launch a wall into a car? Aerodynamics? I need to do the station names. So this one is Scrap of the Contaminated Variety and also 25 degree thermofluid. This one is Junk Data Cards. And this one is regular old scrap. And here we have matter containment data. Matter containment data. And then Matter synthesis data. Synth, 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 and sums. Oh, and then we just do our. They're both just drop offs, actually. Wait, what? Oh. Alright, so this is looking for quark data, or quark data, and particle stream, and super cold. Quark data particles stream uh actually particle stream is gonna be on this side. This is super cold only. Let me get the stream from the other train station. Request threshold sixty K the fluid. Don't need the network IDs. Both of these just net consume. Uh, they just normally consume particle stream, actually. Uh, and we should be able to put... Put this in the usual spot. Alright, what are we looking for here? Force field data, pressure containment data, and probably a lot of magnetic canisters. Less than half a stack per second, it's not that bad. So we could probably just go a train load and a half for everything. Uh, they all stack to 50, actually. So mag canister, 7.5k. I might... Uh, increase it after I do the math on how often we'd have to replace it. Force field data. 7.5. Pressure containment data. Alright. So, at 20 per second... 250 seconds, that's fine. That's four minutes to replace the containment data at uh, the um, mag canisters. In fact, aren't they a little bit expensive? Maybe I should reduce this a little bit. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, and then we have station names. A dragon killer. Goodness. What are we looking for again? Quark data. Quark data and negative 275 degree thermofluid requester. 
I think I forgot this part of the other blueprint. Seeing what the, uh, what the build is making. Matter synthesis. And then over here. Let's see, double wavy data. Particle stream. Mag canister, force field, pressure containment. Does it have two ends? It does not. And pressure containment. Fantastic. All right, I think that's our build. And that is a uh, matter science. Should be completed as soon as we've actually got the machines. And presume... Oh, we're also missing mag canisters. At the very least. Matter containment data and... Matter synthesis. Let me put it in the opposite order. Because that's where we're, the builds are. Matter... Synth... And containment... The bottom left space belts are still in the black ones? No! Alright, start over. Synthesis and containment. Pretty sure we, we removed all the cheat stuff. Looks good. And let's go build this thing. Or at least a significant portion of it. Right about here. Should be fine. Forgot to put my tags here. Matter liberation data. Analysis. Containment and Synthesis. Beautiful. It's going to take a couple of trips, I think. Inactivity 30. And then... Construction train. Uh, I should probably wait. I'll just put it here at... Oh, it's actually got some stuff to do over here as well. Give it a pass. Not a great idea, but you have to agree to it before I reveal how great it is? Wait, what? For the construction of blocks slash train. I don't know. This sounds... This sounds like a monkey's paw. 
That probably needs to go there as well. That that condition sounds very sneaky. Do we not have space belts? What's going on? Oh yeah, I that that's probably why. Because I set space belts to zero a while ago. Making room for some other stuff. Okay. Advanced research server is still at 62%. I have a feeling we're going to be waiting a minute for that bio 3. I haven't checked on our bottleneck since I opened the floodgates to make a lot of tier 1 science packs. Um, we're actually picking up bio 3 right now. Good timing. And off we go. Okay, I'll tell you anyway, add to your blueprints on the grids a new station called Construction Train Build. And then I'd have to remove it afterwards. Um, the only other thing is, as well, I'm not putting every single building in the construct. What's going on here? No path? Oh, it's to the new build. That's why. We need to finish it, because that's probably blocking... That's probably blocking some testing packs to getting to some other builds right now. Where are you trying to go right now? So is there no signal there? Wait, which one is it? It's the wavy data. The three waves. It's saying that it's got no path to here. Oh no, it's not going to be one of those bugged pieces of rail that I have to replace manually, is it? Because this looks like it should be working. Oh, it's this one? Well, that looks like it... Yep. Yep, there it is. Can I just mark that for decon and then... And then replace it? Or do I have to physically go over there? Is that going to fit? Is it going to fix it? It was renamed in the blueprint, wasn't it? Uh, I didn't fix this one, no. Not yet. Station name, indeed. It's trying to go to a dragon killer, I know. We're going to have to wait till it gets there first. But why can't it... Nope, I have to physically go over there to fix this. Uh... Well, maybe I don't, but I think I do. I'd rather just go there than find out the hard way that I do, in fact, have to physically go there. I notice we're not dipping into... We haven't been dipping down to, like, 45 UPS for a long time. Not sure... Not sure that I changed anything that would have been enough to account for that yet. It's probably just that we're saturated with a bunch of stuff, or something's broken, maybe. Alright. Oh, crap. Suddenly I thought the train was going to run me over. Um, okay, so this goes here, this goes here, and is is that connected now? I think it is. 
Don't forget to tell LTN what we've got. Good thing I wasn't on another planet. I mean, I'm sure I could have fixed it by, like, tearing everything up and replacing it. I wonder why this one was so much faster. Oh, because it's going over here. Probably. Especially with the pump sucking up some of it. That wouldn't have only accounted for, like, a thousand or so, though. Uh, maybe a bit more. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the constant combinators here until the trains stop coming so I can update the station names. And I believe... oh. Uh, sin hey, there it is! Advanced Research Server! We did it! What do we need to make it? Advanced research server. We need like several. I'll go check on that in a minute. I'm not even going to bother directly. Alright, so we're looking for... Quantum data, at the very least. I think it was quantum and quark on this one, right? And... Fluid. Quantum, quark, fluid, and material testing pack. And it goes into a fabricator. And out comes... Magnifying glass. Perfection. And this one is... Radiation data, hot thermodynamics data, material testing pack. Hot thermo testing. I kind of want to put the testing pack first, because in terms of stack size, it's always the highest throughput thing. Requester. It's not requesting any fluids. It is, in fact, providing. Uh, oh, yeah, I can make it a high priority. Just for. Providing, as opposed to requesting. That's our standard high priority, is 100. So for the symbols explaining, for the hieroglyphics explaining what this does, whoops, we're going to say active provider for particle stream. And... Stuff goes into Fabricator, and out comes three wavy data. Cool. And switch it on. Nice. We've only got three and a half hours of life support. Uh, I definitely want to limit to just the first couple of machines for each type of card for now. And I'm going to have to go get the Scion, Scion? Cyan belts myself. Okay, can we make research... So Wait, let me call a taxi. Can we make research servers? Right now, with no fuss. We need Immersium beams, and we need, more importantly, AI cores. 
We've got beams here, I just haven't put them in as a prereq. I already whitelisted them though. And then research servers are going to be the same deal. Research server. Uh, how many does it take to make this? Only one. I've probably only got a request for like 50 research servers. Well, I just realized that after this we're never ever putting them in the train again, so... So I'm, I'm not too worried about the count in this buffer warehouse throwing them off. We'll get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need to whitelist them. And now we need to make AI cores. Tiny Goliath, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Take care, Glacier Wolf. Thanks for hanging out. Um, so what goes into an AI core? I think bioscience was involved. Bioelectric data and Vitalik reagent, advanced neural gel, Immersite crystal, and quantum processor. I believe we have all of these things already. We just need to make the build. So we've we've definitely got uh, Vitalik reagent. One of these data cards, I think, was bioelectric data. There it is. Advanced neural gel, we might not have. This is regular neural gel. So we'll need to do a build for that as well. Uh, we've definitely got quantum. We've definitely got imosite crystal. And that's it. All right. Advanced neural gel. How do we make it? That's barreling, that is a recycling recipe. So it's only this one. Neural gel plus nutrient gel plus bioelectric data plus SIG biomass. And it outputs junk data cards. Well, this is a bit rough. We're definitely doing a block for that. Um, I could do it right here. Right next to literally all of the ingredients. And maybe we could pump the nutrient gel. Oh. Oh. I think this was supposed to be a pickup for nutrient gel. What? No? Yeah, I think I probably... Left that out by mistake. How, how many places does nutrient gel get consumed? In at, We can make this a pickup if necessary. And in any case, I think I want to pump it over here. So we can skip one train trip at the very least. I could also belt this from over here as well. If we want to be a bit sketchy. Did Neural Gel just say it was connected to, like, five different fluid networks? Uh, probably, yeah. It's not true, but... The machines having outputs, uh, connected like this... ...think that they're sharing fluid networks? When they're actually not. It'll give you warnings about it. Uh, you can get around it with, like, copy-paste. Alright, so... Nutrient gel, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it go into? Quite a lot, by the sound of it. We're already doing this one on site. Um, I think we're already doing this one on site. This is advanced neural gel to build with, considering right now. This is already on site. We're probably never doing this. 
Uh, we're probably never doing this. Definitely never doing this. That's barrels, that's nutrient vats. We're not doing unit capsules. Uh, and then nothing. Huh. So tentatively, we don't need a train stop to pick up nutrient gel ever. If we do our build right here and just pump it straight over. Alright. And I might steal significant biomass from here to go straight into this build as well. Of course, that would de facto give it massive priority. I could also, like, check that we've got a train load here and only take if we've got a little bit extra. Um... Alright, well, let's build advanced neural gel, I guess. Taxi. Oh. Oh, right. That's not the right station. And apparently none of these little stations need a pickup right now. Cool. Fantastic. Where's our train? It did manage to place a bunch of belt. It is ready to go. Okay. I did blueprint this, right? Surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I need to place the fancy belt. I kind of want to do that first. I think it's up here. I'm pretty sure we've got more than 50 of this. How much did we need? 70 something, right? 92. Alright. Where's your... Where's your belt? There we go. And... Down we go. Wait for full cargo. I'm really glad I updated that construction train loader. Really nice not having to think about it. Didn't realize it had that much reach. I think we need the scaffolding train to place the... solar panels. Off we go, robots. Fantastic. Oh, so I just happened to be carrying these? So that whole train trip was for nothing? Fine. See if I care. And back in we go. Now then. How's our sand looking? I think we checked on it yesterday and it was looking very, very good. Nice. It's fully saturated. That's what I want to see. 
I'm looking forward to doing matter fabrication instead of crushing excess resources to keep the core fragments going. Then again... Hmm. Okay, if we have a giant system that can convert excess resources to particle stream and particle stream into whatever we're not saturated on... Um... In that case, I guess it wouldn't matter if we stopped processing core fragments eventually. As long as we're able to delete the excesses from the various, uh, from the various, uh, core fragment builds and keep them going so that, so that they'll all stop eventually if the entire base is saturated. And I think we'll probably want another power plant on the ground, because 6 gigawatt bottleneck, uh, and we'll, we'll definitely want to do our matter fabricating. To get the raw resources on the ground, to reduce the amount of space elevator cable it costs to move them around. Was wondering what was going on and causing that. Did Neural Gel just say it was... Oh yeah, that, yeah, right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... Whoops. It's getting to... It's, it's getting a lot faster already. Uh, removing and placing rail signals since we cleaned up an outpost or two. I wonder if surely paint, surely train pathing hasn't been adding up to that much and removing those few signals on those other planets hasn't helped that much, has it? Because we're adding signals with reckless abandon on the main base. Okay. So what was the build? Advanced... Advanced Neural Gel. Uh, how do we make it? Here we go. Sig... Two solids, two fluids in, junk, and two fluids out. I would almost say it also gives us bio sludge, but I'm sure if we look back at where this stuff comes from, it net costs us bio sludge. We get a hundred for one sig biomass and one data card. Okay, we need growth facilities. I'm glad we only have one fluid for output. That means... Wait. Why did I think that for a second? Oh no. This is the opposite of what I was glad of. This means we're going to have the pipe nightmare. Alright. Wide bacon... Around about here somewhere. Modules. And negative 70% power. Fantastic. Well, we're definitely only fitting four of these on each side anyway. And we've got plenty of space. So in this context, it shouldn't be so bad, I suppose. I think we need a bit more space than that. But that should work. Alright. 
two solids in, one solid out. The rate should be manageable, I imagine. It's very extremely manageable. Yellow belts would laugh at the throughput. Let's start by doing our output station. No! And... Big storage tank. We're mainly here for the fluid, and the junk data card's going to be super slow. So I kind of want to make sure the output can be nice and fast, actually. Uh, why don't I just do two output stations? Or I could even go the old-fashioned way and not use bulk rail loaders. And we could still have a combined station. Just a couple of these. And some of these. Maybe. That... That's input. I wonder if I could line it up so that... That happens to be the, the right output. Good. Theoretically. What if we did all the input down the middle? Oh, it's two fluids out. So we kind of... Uh, we don't really need two tray stations for output. I kind of want to leave room for something over here. Though I don't know what that might be. How fast is this? 200 per second. Is that fast for neural gel? How much are we making here? 108 per second, so I would say so, yes. It's one to one, isn't it? It is one to one. Alright, this should be all we ever need, probably. Probably. I could also just... Perfect. Do it something like that. A couple of pumps. Overall throughput's going to be low. That should be fine. And how about one of the other fluid outputs here? Triple X Poser, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's kind of sketch. There we go. Uh, and we still need to get the solids in here, actually. <laughs> Whoops. I guess we could do that. If I didn't mind the trains taking a little bit longer to load... 
I mean, I could calculate or watch and see exactly how long they take to load, but I could, like, limit this to less than one cargo wagon at the front, and then just set the provide stack threshold to exactly 100. As long as we don't have a power outage or something. Uh, the back cargo wagon should be full before too much of it's pushed to the front. Yeah, we could do it that way, I guess. Alright. Where do I want to do our belts and pipes? Maybe want to move this over a bit. Quite likely. Well, let's design it over this side where we've got plenty of room. One of these... Um... We want these to be uniform, one way or the other. Either like this or like this. I don't really think it matters. I could have the output fluid, the one we're looking for, meet up in the middle. Maybe like this. Oh yeah, that works. And we still have a little bit of room for solid input. Just barely. Why is this one different? Oh. Because I mucked it up. And that doesn't actually reach across. Oh, no. I think I'll just do it... the underground pipe output way, or input way. What are we bonking for? How many tiles is this? Thirteen. Maybe... That's six. No, could you? Is that also six? No, it's five. Yeah, it's consistent. Because I noticed that, and there was a delay. Fair enough. Eight tiles. My old enemy. Alright. Uh, and this should work out to be the same, right? do the same thing on the opposite side. Mm, sort of. I guess I could move it up a bit. Let's look at our input station first. And then I'm going to have to get a drink, actually. Or get some food. I don't know why hunger made me say drink. Can I do an upgrade planner for floor tiles? Nope. I want to make a new blueprint for this.
Let's remove everything that is not needed for it. With space. That looks kind of weird, actually. Yeah, I can live with that. Wait, no, we need some more space. Alright. How did I, like, name these? Station, rail, loader, loader. Or unloader, unloader. Uh, and we probably want to update this part as well. It's been out of date for a while. Lavan seal. Some kind of request on. Bulk rail unloader. Said unloader. Charles train stop names. And. Because I noticed that, and the. Oh, my bad. Thought there was new text. Alright, can I put this here, I guess? Actually, I'm going to be using this more, so let me just swap it in. And we'll do the same thing for this guy soon. Alright. And if I move this up exactly one tile... We can all live happily ever after. Beautiful. Um, come to think of it, it probably doesn't have to be this far from the center at all. But let's just squeeze it in after we've figured out where everything needs to go. So we're going to have some kind of... Some kind of output for this. And some kind of output for that. That's actually going to be pretty easy. slow junk data cards on a belt. Can we make it reach so that they all go on one belt directly? It doesn't look like it. it does not look like it. So if I put this here and this here Wait, yeah, we can do that. That shouldn't be too hard. And we can bring it in a little bit more. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. Not like that, actually. 
many tiles is that? One, two, three, four, five. For the sake of symmetry, how about six? Somehow. Bring those in. I said bring those in. And then this one. Oh, I paused it. Same thing. That's a bit more comfy. You can use a normal inserter instead of a long arm for the left side. For maximum squeeze? Wait, what? Normal inserter instead of a long arm for the left side. But then this would have to... I want it to output to one bell, if I can. Like so. Five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. We're only making a hundred, uh, how much? 200 per second? Yeah, we don't have to worry about pipe throughput. Okay. And then we'll just tidy it up a bit. Wait. No, I can totally move this up. Can't I? Oh, I only put it there so it would be like the same distance from the white area beacon. But I'm pretty sure it's going to look better here. Yeah, I think that's better. Alright, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Is that three and five? It is. Alright, so we got two solids in, two fluids in, one solid out, two fluids out. Right? Seems good. Sig biomass. What's the rate? They're exactly the same. Sig biomass and bioelectric data, I believe it was. Then set filters blacklist. And then some input fluids. Which um are not gonna fit as conveniently as I didn't realize. 
making my OCD weep? I'm doing my best. Why are you doing different underground pipes from the top two versus the bottom two? What do you mean? Because they, because they fit together. And this, this is too far for a, for an underground. What, what do you mean? What, is this better? Pipes for top left output are too close and will mix. Oh. God damn it. Uh, we can fix that. It's fine. No, it's not. I lied. I lied. Is this what you were talking about? Wait, you said... Where was it? Why are you doing different underground pipes on the top two versus the bottom two? Oh, this? Because I hadn't gotten to changing it yet. This is probably what I was planning on doing up here. Because that actually works. Also, that could be a three now. What do you mean, mixing fluids? That... that's a lie. We're not mixing fluids here. What... What do you mean? There's nothing! That... There aren't any weird connections! game's just drunk. Oh, that one's already there. We'll soon find out. Oh, and that's not going anywhere right now, is it? That might help. We'll see what we can do with that one, and this one. Fluid builds are the worst, indeed. Especially since you can't mirror the buildings. Now it lets us put this in? What did I even change? Hold up. I think we will want that one to be underground. How many tiles is this? It is nine. No side connections. About a seven. That looks good, actually. How many is this? Five. Fantastic. And over here. How many tiles is that? Unfortunately, it is four. It's not so bad. It's actually pretty tidy so far. And this can go here. And then... How many tiles have we got up here? That has to be underground. That has to be a onesie. And this is a seven. Oh, and it lines up with this one as well. That's beautiful. Here we obviously just need some regular underground pipe. I mean, regular pipe. And this should be seven as well. Fantastic. Oh, that looks so much better. You can actually see at a glance what it's doing. All right. Let's get ready to test it, but not before I figure out where I'm going to put the fluid inputs from the train stop. Great job, thanks. You're welcome. Mr. Dane, welcome in. 
right. I could do... They're both the same speed, these two fluids, right? 217 per second. Quite slow. Uh, maybe I could move these, actually. And... We can fit this here. This one goes here. Easy enough. Kind of. Sort of. So I guess we could do neural gel on this side, if that fits conveniently. What he tells us that. Does it really have to be down here? Yep. Okay. How many tiles is that? Nine. That'll do. That looks pretty cool. Should I do this just for the symmetry? Yeah. And then we need like eight tiles here, I think. That's not going to be the same input, is it? As this side. And last but not least, that's going to have to turn a corner somewhere. How many tiles is this? It is four. How about a 3B? And then this goes here. Then we need 10 tiles. That actually doesn't look that bad. All right, testing time. We're going to do... Of course, that wouldn't reach. Uh, we're going to do... Neural gel on this side. What is it called? Nutrient gel. On this side. And it looks like it's... Well, some of it's working. Oh, I didn't connect these. That's why. Better than straight uploaders, they have self storage. What do? What are those things over the cargo wagons at the train stations? You mean bulk rail unloaders? Fixed it, fantastic. It didn't let you because the outputs for top were connected. Okay. Good meowing, Mr. Dane. I am Sark, welcome in also, but didn't say so. OCD community? Of course, it's Factorio, and I make, I try to make nice looking builds. Chat on fire today. <laughs> Braze K, welcome in. Fair, fair play, I guess, welcome in also. All right. Let's, whoa, let's see if this thing's working. Uh, we have no output for bio sludge because it's full. I think we'll have to 
What's the best way to do this? Just like that? I could put a pump, but I don't think it's necessary. At all. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, these builds are a bit of a headache, but we made it look kind of nice in the end. Freaking multi-fluid builds with the non-mirrorable non buildings. Regnau, thank you very much for the follow. Don't forget the output belt. What about it? What about the output belt? I think it's working. Oh. Oh, oh, this one's not connected. Okay. We'll fix it. like that. Then we've got some pseudo-symmetry around the beacon. Uh, we don't need cheat inputs. Well, we probably do with the solids. They're going to run out real fast. And also, I'm going to fill this part in anyway. That part almost looks cool. Hmm. Oh, you can plus and minus this. Well, that's easier sometimes. Definitely like that part. Get rid of this bit of land right here. Cool, cool, cool. Was, did that part look better? A little jagged bit? Not exactly jagged. Why do we have scaffolding here and also how dare you? It looks kind of sketch. Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, this part's different, because someone was talking about something else. Uh, that's eight tiles, so five and three. Just like we did over here. And then... Fill it in until we just have this. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, that works for me. Alright, station names and requests. We need at least a couple of trainloads of this stack size, uh, stack size 5 stuff. Oh, it's only 2.17 per second. Less than half a stack. Amazing. Uh, we'll have to have this as a high priority. Just because of junk data cards. Advanced neural gel and bio sludge. Oh, I guess there's the bio sludge as well. That also uh, makes it a high priority pickup because that's a byproduct. So this is going to be advanced neural gel greater than zero, bio sludge greater than zero. And don't think I didn't see you there. Sneaky. Maybe I'll fill this bit in. Yeah, I think I like that a little better. Alright, that's already correct. And this one needs a name. And requests. Two fluids, two solids. And neural and nutrient. Uh, our limit for storage is actually 100k, so let's cool it a little bit. We'll request some more when we're down to 20k. This is... Uh, 7.5k for, for a train load and a half. Stack size 50, consuming 2.17 per second. We're going to go a bit more aggressive with... Whoops. We'll go for two train loads. That's barrels. Two train loads for the Sig Biomass. Since it's consuming more than half a stack per second. Sorry, a bit less actually, but still. And, you know, after making that look all nice and stuff, I don't really want to pipe stuff straight into it like I was thinking of doing. Oh, and we need a station name. Great facility making advanced neural gel. And input is this and this. Sig data, Sig biomass, and bioelectric, and then we need neural gel and nutrient gel. Cool, cool, cool. And that should be it. Just check the wires. And get rid of the input. Alright. Advanced neural gel. Snap to towels and train stop names. Fantastic. That doesn't go there. 
think I'll put it near the bio stuff. Where's neural gel? Oh, it's in one of those giant builds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't want to place this blueprint without... and overwrite the, uh, the rail here as it is, but there's no construction trains around. Items pick up? What do you mean? Steel rails at top right junction. Oh, true. Now I have to do it again. Items pick up. That's what this is. It's everything pick up. Alright. Once more with feeling. Advanced neural gel. You did not set the item at the pick up station. But I did. I don't need to put something here because the positive signal from the wires does that. Lancel, welcome in. Start over. Yeah, we need... An... When you're learning LTN, uh, if it's confusing why you put in negative signals, uh, just realize that for a pickup station, the positive signal that you get automatically from connecting a wire to a container that's positive, and you need a negative to say... Basically, LTN is always trying to uh, bring this number closer to zero, whether it's taking st something away or bringing something here. Okay. And then, if I place it here... while no one's looking, and delete ghosts down here, that's actually super easy. Cool. Alright, let's get our scaffolding train involved. This one should actually get done with one trip. And we'll need some growth facilities. I thought I had a signal here somewhere for that. Whatever the case, we'll just add something temporarily. Fantastic. And send our construction train over here. And then get rid of that signal for next time. Oh, no, I forgot. I'm gonna have to place the blueprint again. Whoops, where's our train? Could you... Could you just wait there for a minute? Out of range. Gold BC, I'll come in. Uh, no. Oh, I inverted those apparently. Whoops. Alright. So there's no construction trains around. Deconstruct the ghosts. And that should be it. Uh, 
Fantastic. Construction go burr. Trains on the way. I seriously doubt it is a SIG biomass train. We might actually get this built in one go. There's our gel. Apparently we don't have uh, speed modules or beacons right now. Probably because I switched them off. Actually make that like 200. And we'll tell our train to go back there after it's resupplied. Oh, also... Okay, I really should redo this one. Let's get this done first, and then empty the train. Oh, there's a lone bot wandering back. I think it's headed for the construction train. I think we're about to see that use case that I was talking about at the start of the stream. Whereby a single construction bot is finally going to crawl back here. And it's going to cause the train to empty because the bots are going to get imbalanced. Uh, but at this rate, it looks like the train's going to leave and go and build stuff and then come back before that happens. Oh. Why do we have regular flat solar panels here? Get out of here. Apparently we already have some in. No, we're reloading the bots. What? Oh. Wait, how did... How did we reload the bots before the train got empty? That's weird. It's very weird. Hmm. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That bot is actually... How did... What? No. What? No. How... How did you... Where... Where's the bot? Right about here. And stop. Is that bot actually gonna jump into the carriage that's got 48 bots? I think it is. That's so weird. Well, guess what? Now we've got 147 bots and it's going to load the train. Strange that was. Now bitter. Oh my goodness. The 50s. That is a lot of wires. <laughs> Indeed it is. It's a bit of a rat's nest, actually. 
Oh, we don't have beacons? Wait, yes we do. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. This whole thing should be built in a moment. So we're looking for advanced neural gel. Oh, you're joking. We didn't have room for the modules because there's too many belts. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because we had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of pipe. Because that was from when we were building this thing. Whoopsie daisy. What's the new system? Filtered inserters and then logic based on bot count. But you don't ever unload the bots. Yeah, we never unload unless uh, something happens so that the bots are messed up. Um, if I put in an extra bot here, we're going to empty everything. And then once it's empty, we're going to... Um, once it's empty, we're going to activate this little memory cell and output the number of bots we want to load. And then once we've got exactly 147 bots, uh, then we're allowed to load everything else. But now that we've got the bots, if the train makes a little lap here and comes back, we're not going to like empty everything just to make sure. So it's only when, like, a bot crawls back after picking up something that was deconstructed or something like that that it's going to mess things up and then it's going to automatically empty it and start again. Just because with multiple cargo wagons we can't tell how many bots are in each cargo wagon. Which, incidentally, is why we don't put, like, space pipes in these three carriages or two of them. Just one. Um, apparently we're out of efficiency modules. Hmm. All right. Did we get this built? Nope, there's no modules. Inactivity. Benwu, Buvin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does the wire come mod? work with logic wires the wire comb mod oh right look it's as it's as easy to follow as i was able to make it okay it's factorio combinators what do you want what are we missing here everything well that's gonna take a little while oh yeah the nutrient gel uh we need crap crap wait 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 no um no Let's park this guy here. And we need to make... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... We need to make a container here. Champagne? Magna? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I need a little bit more scaffolding here. Let's just do it like this. Yeah, that should be fine. And then you can go home. 
And then we should be able to fix this up with relative ease. But we need to watch it so that we can uh, place a wire here. I do wish you could just put in wire connections to ghosts like this. Decon old science build? Do you mean the spaghetti? Pretty much has been. Just got a forest of old wires here. And uranium, apparently. <laughs> I'll decon all these constant combinators. So it's very clear that none of these are active. Got a bunch of ion stream to make use of. Oh yeah, we were making this, weren't we? Oh. So it's kind of a lower priority than making... Uh, making biomass, but biomass is already saturated. We're very, very saturated on tier 1 and 2. It's just 3 is incredibly slow because Vitalik Reagent, uh, which ultimately traces back to Vitamelange. But we're getting close to preparing our final Vitamelange planet uh, to be colonized. In fact, I could probably start building there now. If we don't mind the minor risk of scorching the stuff that we build with the autoglave. There's not that much, uh, there's not that many biters left, it looks like. It's a, it's a lot of ground to cover though. Truly a lot of ground to cover. But yeah, we could definitely go start preparing our new outpost which is hopefully the last Vitamelange outpost we ever need. Alright. This one's done. Uh, how much fluid is here? 1.8k. How fast is this? Why doesn't it have nutrient gel? Did I never connect this? No, it's just that this side is greedier. And we don't have... We don't have bio sludge up here. That's weird. We should have... Oh, it's pumping it this way. But... Yeah, that's the only way in. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I could pump it back the same way as well. No. Doesn't that mean this should have bio sludge? It does have bio sludge. Okay. And then, but that nutrient gel gets pumped this way first. And for some reason. We're having to make bio mass right now. There's plenty of bio sludge here. I thought that would find its way back up this way. Um, yes, but no. Hmm. I think I should give this some um, adjustments. Then seven, perhaps. Oh, that's good. That's almost perfect.
I want to connect it here, actually. Oh, perfect. Yes. There we go. That means the neural nutrient gel that gets pumped over this. Huh? When did. Huh? Oh, because this was a long one. Whoops. Luckily, I don't have to purge the system. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I might have to get rid of some of this. This this part here needs to not connect. So just a, how about a couple of undergrounds? Sludge needs to go somewhere. There we go. Not a drop wasted. Pretty much. Hold on, was this just wrong earlier? Or is that over there supposed to not have bio sludge? Oh crap, it's not supposed to have bio sludge. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh no. 82. 1.1k. There's like a million bio sludge here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was this underground for? Oh, I think I like shifted it. does go here. Crap, that was a waste. Alright, I think we fixed it. That was facing down, I guess. Indeed. Connected green to pink. Indeed, I did. Uh, I think we fixed it now. And we have 25k for pickup. And a bit more getting down here. At least theoretically. Now, why is this not connected? This is... This is nutrient gel. This wants nutrient gel. Hello? Flo... Flo... Des, Flo... Desovs? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that was really weird. It looks like it's working now. And we have nutrient gel. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, let me update the station name. Let's see, provide threshold, 60k, and 
we are indeed going to the new build. Perfect. It's going to be a while before we get some bioelectric data, I think. And sick biomass. Well, it's kind of, it's the same thing, actually. It's required for both. So we need, like, basically slightly more than one trainload of SIG biomass. Um, which we should get as soon as we get a delivery of Vitalik. Uh, which is dropped off here. Vitalik Reagent. I could, like, force a delivery, kind of. See if that doesn't cause any problems. That's... That's going to bioscience instead. Oh, no. Did I... Was this the one where I bumped up the priority? It was. Normally that's negative priority. Um, you know what? That might actually make more sense. Still. Uh, but yeah, we should now be getting... SIG biomass. 40% of 50. 20, so 4 stacks per stack. We get Vitalik Reagent turning into... Sig biomass. Which means we get like three and a bit train loads. Cool, cool, cool. Still don't have the recipe to set this one. And that'll be our bioelectric data. There's like. Oh, I thought there was like three trains queued up here. Anyway, let's go back to the malt. Hopefully we'll get our advanced neural gel pretty soon. There should... yeah, there we, there we go. Should already be a train trying to deliver to it. It's sending it to... It's sending it to bioelectric data again. <laughs> okay. One would think with both of these having equal priority and both of them have zero, we'd schedule for both of them, or schedule for the one that has fewer. It's fine. Looks like some came here as well. Anyway, uh, I think... I think I will go and start creating that outpost. Is our storage full again? No? What are these bots doing? What? What? These do all belong to the robot network, right? Not the train? Low Rider, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Basil Falcon also. Didn't know you could pull off the sides with the end of an underground pipe. Pull off the sides. Oh no, I think that was because I rotated it. I think you missed output underground of rightmost row of purple production where you polluted green. You mean here? What do you mean? Output underground of rightmost row of purple. Is this the purple that we're talking about? That's pink. Never mind, it's correct. Okay, fantastic.
that Vitalik did not last long. Alright, uh, I don't think I need this extra landfill. Let's go on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. First stop is Foenestra, otherwise it will take us 40 minutes to get there. Pink, purple, tomato, tomato? <laughs> Indeed. Alright, let me just switch this off in case I forget about it later. And we want to be editing while we're flying. ETA to Foenestra is less than five minutes. Fantastic. I should probably check on all my ships at some point. How's that bug scorching coming along, son? Still a long way to go. Gazelnik, thank you very much for the seven months with Prime. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. And welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we're not researching. Oh, we're not researching. We finished our research. Beautiful. And we may have finished. No, no, no. We were working on AI cores, right? Was that the reason? Research server. Advanced research server. Yeah, we need 50 AI cores. Which is why we're working on the advanced neural gel. Everything else we've already got, although Vitalik Reagent is agonizingly slow, because it demands an obscene amount of Vita Melange. Um, I'm pretty sure last playthrough it wasn't quite so greedy. Maybe that's just my imagination. But just to double check, Vita Melange or Fragments. Uh, we're still supplying plenty of those. We're actually bottlenecked on processing. Wait, we're bottlenecked on processing? Really? I just caught this one running out. This one hasn't been active for at least a moment. Do we need more trains to drag Vitamelange up and down? Vitamelange core fragments. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just catching up. Is the new Vit outpost happening? Uh, yeah, I'm going to make a start on it anyway. We're getting pretty close to finishing uh, clearing that planet out of biters. Um, but yeah, I saw in orbit containers, blue containers here are empty of Vit core fragments, but we've got we've got enough to trigger a train delivery still. Well, let's check out Outpost. Moss Garden. I'm a little concerned by the number of ships that are here. It's not broken, is it? No, no, we are bottlenecked. The train is... The next train, or two or three, uh, is going to drop some Vit core fragments on this side, and then the ship is going to leave. This isn't going to affect overall throughput. Mi Michel Rossio? Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, trains are all waiting to pick up core fragments. That's our bottleneck. Okay. That's good, in a sense. We will be at Foenestra in 3,000 clicks. And... 
I guess I can go ahead and start laying down our design for our pickup station. Uh, where's the middle? GPS equals zero comma zero comma Bombato orbit. And it's right about here. Uh, where am I looking? Here we go. Cannot place matching spellvader on the opposite surface. Where is zero zero down here? Oh. Snowy. So I think... Yeah, it's just a few rocks. Luckily, with Navsat and the magic of Pick a Dolly, we can fix this remotely. Or I could aim an energy beam at it if I didn't want to slightly cheat. Oh, we're here already. Bombato Orbit. Off we go. And I keep going into the wrong place by muscle memory. Alright, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. We'll be there in four and a half minutes or so. Oh, we did get SIG biomass here. Cool, cool, cool. That means as soon as... Should I prioritize this? I could force it to start already. One makes a hundred, so 60k... Uh, requires 600. How much have we got? Over a thousand? Alright. Just this once. Priority. And reduce the provide stack threshold. And we should see that light go yellow. Fantastic. We can change these back immediately because the signals only count for what gets scheduled. Hey, do you use some kind of a mod for designing blueprints? Yes, the mod is called Editor Extensions. And if you have that mod active, uh, you can create a new game, it'll have a scenario. If you want to just have cheats and access to everything. Uh, or you can go... Settings, mod settings, per player tab, and it's the last setting underneath editor extensions. You want personal testing mod or force. It either should work. Either should work. And there it is. That's our first advanced neural gel. We should have a train load of this, uh, even if no more deliveries up here. Certainly by the time we get back. Now, we've got a few minutes till we get to our destination. So, I guess we can finally design the AI core. Brush 78. And how do we make a core? Uh, in a space manufactory. I have a feeling this is going to be... No, 16 seconds. I think it's going to be very easy to make way more than we need with this one. So 
Space manufacturing. AI core. May as well give it a beacon. Efficiency and speed. What do we got? Plus one eighty per cent. Minus eighty. Uh, two megawatt. That's normal consumption. It's probably fine. Nah, it's going to be way faster than we need anyway. Let's make sure our power consumption is nice and consistent. Thank you, you're welcome. And... There's no kill like overkill, especially when it's only eight machines. We need some fluid. Actually, does this reach? It's one off. Ravna. And... Kind of looks like it's inserting to nothing if I put it over there. What's our rate? We got four solids to input. A little bit fast. On each side we need just a little bit less than half a belt of each except for... holy crap, Vitalik Reagent again. We're gonna need so much Vitamelange. All because everything wants a lot of Vitalik Reagent, and Vital uh, Vitalik Reagent is ridiculously thirsty itself. I'm not missing some alternate recipe to make these, am I? Not unless you count Naquium Processing, which is net negative. And we are using prod modules for it as well. Alright. We're just going to need obscene amounts of VIP. Probably going to need a third Vita outpost. We are getting like a 9,000 radius one here. Uh, as opposed to... Our... 2.5k uh, radius where we haven't even expanded very much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 drills. I think it is. I can check real quick. Tendrils. That is 50 per second. Okay. Um, you know what? It's not terribly efficient, but I want to do some designing. Let the bots build this for the moment. They're not placing the scaffolding. I think they're just going to do it in a big wave in a minute. Okay. So... Half belt, half belt, half belt, double belt, or rather full belt. I could just... yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just do space belts for now, and if we're really, really keen eventually, we'll upgrade to deep space belts. So this will be bottlenecked on belts, in theory, but never in practice. It's 
So we need one fluid and... Many salts. It theoretically should stay balanced enough. Oh, wait. That's going to be a little awkward. Hold up. Four solids for input, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need half belts for everything. I guess like this. Just enough room. Actually, how fast is the fluid consumed? 380 per second? Uh, you know what? We'll just do a, a bit of a slower drop off for the fluid. It's fine. It's never really caused a problem yet. Is there some smarter way to shape these? I mean, I could do it like this, but... It'll bug me until the end of time if there's items left on the belt that can never be consumed. Yeah, I think that kind of has to go there. It looks off. Alright. Quantum processor. Inner crystal. Reagent and again bioelectric data. So the question is how many planets we need to support just a decent throughput for bio stuff. Luckily, there's only four solid drop-offs here. All of these have decent stack sizes. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to go set filters blacklist. And then just shift right, shift left. And then realize that this is facing the wrong way. Thought something was off. As for our input fluid, it is advanced neural gel. I might move this a little bit to one side. Also, I wanted to make an update to this thing. Need some bulk rail loader and some space. Whoa, not that much space. And make sure that's connected. Update. This part. Make sure those defaults are correct for our better trains. And blueprint. Oh, that sh space rail would have stayed there actually. Uh, bulk rail loader. Times two. And don't forget the tiles. And 
And this goes here. Fantastic. All right. Oops. So I think I'm going to move these over like two tiles. I could make it a bit narrower. Then the pipes would be weirder. Move this across as much as I want. I think I paused the game again. There we go. Alright, if I move this across to here. Oh, what's our rate? Less than one belt. And how, what does it stack to? 50. Okay. In that case, we'll just do it like this, as we often do. And limit each of these to one cargo wagon. This is AI Core Provider. Let's test it. up pretty well actually. Looks good. Can't remember the last time I did a nice simple build that doesn't have byproducts. Uh, so obviously that's gonna bottleneck on the Vitalik reagent. I don't care right now. It's gonna bottleneck on the belts that is. We'll give it uh, deep space belts when we feel like upgrading it. 4,500 collectors launched from 45 locations. <laughs> Nicely done. What are the results? Uh... about how about that maybe this nah that looks reasonable oh no more test inputs bottom right core at moss garden not connected to rails I'll have a look Station name. Space manufacturing. Requesting quantum processes. Imosite crystal. Data cards. Same data cards that have been requested all day. Bioelectric. And reagent came before that one in the recipe. And don't forget advanced neural gel. Uh, apparently I can't copy paste that. And out comes AI core. Uh, 
Nice. Twenty four arco spheres. Per hundred. Is that right? So how how deep into diminishing returns is that? I mean when would it be really not worth the effort anymore? Alright, let's see. Oh, we need to request stuff as well. Quantum... Uh, Imosite crystal... Reagent and data card. And advanced neural gel. Uh, they all stack to 50, don't they? That's convenient. What's our rate of consumption? Everything else is 38, and reagent is 76. It's a bit more than one stack per second. We can probably go a trainload and a half most often. Maybe a little bit more for reagent. But it's so rare at the moment, I don't really want to bump it up. 38 per second. It would take... We would have over two minutes. Or o over one minute to replace once it gets down to half a train load. Vitalic reagent, not quite as good. We can bump that up later. First 50 launches per location gave me 18 spheres. Next 50 was only 6. Ouch. So it is an exponential function, yes? Eighty-six, twenty-five, one, eight, five, four, and... Eight, I... Oh, cool, cool. And I'll put that next to advanced neural gel, I think. Alright, the bots have finished this much. Let's give him a hand. while we focus on something else. Oh. Bioscience 3 is saturated. Because we're not researching right now. Oh, that's good. We're still, uh... catching up with my massive demand for... Tier 1 sciences, it seems. How much have we got? Still got 10,000 of the old data cards, or did I update that? So it's always like that. It doesn't look like we've had a big delivery of any of the smaller science packs. Hmm. Should I research something? What would be good to research right now, other than more zone discovery? Always good to have more options with that. Oh, is this tier 3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get advanced tech card available. How do you make it? Nothing we don't already have? Uh... Can we make it with prog modules, or no? I'm pretty sure space platform plating has to be made on uh, in space. In any case, we're already doing that. You have to cram pylons into it. Okay. This might end up being a pain in the butt. Tick card. 
It's made in research servers, so it has to be in space. I could have the mole churn out pylons. And everything else could just be delivered. Except blank tech cards, I'll need a train to bring it up the elevator. Alright. Shall we give our bots a bit more of a hand? With our magic floor placing abilities. No. Wait. Did I mess that up or no? Uh, seems to be correct, actually. Well, we might find out the hard way. sure it went oh it does let us place this well we have a way to make this look nice cool 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 and we could take it back if we wanted to Good morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now I have a thousand and eight idle spheres in storage. I need to build more, indeed. What, ki what kind of target do you have? Or is the answer yes? Bots are being unresponsive because there's too many ghosts. Let's grab some scaffolding. a lot of recharging. Also, there's probably no solar panels or anything. That might help. Why is this under LCCL train blocks now that I think about it? Don't build these robo ports yet, please. That's a bit better. More solar. Okay, now the butts can at least recharge. Should probably give him a hand with this. Don't have any storage chests. Uh, how about here? Scaffolding. 
the set wall. How did I fly through the wall? Bruh. Oh, that was not a lot of scaffolding. Get in my belly. And I, again, through the wall. Alright, give me this. That's a bit faster. Oh my god. Gimme give gimme give the scaffolding. Give it up give it all to me. There we go. Holes left over here. Get rid of the extra rover ports. In fact, get rid of all the rover ports just in case I made a mistake. And replace blueprint. And away we go. Space elevator is already getting ready to work. We need 1,763 uh, cables just to get started. Oh my lord. We have no electricity for some reason. Oh, probably because we're charging all these uh, media defense installations. Also, how bad's our solar here? Only 280 kilowatt. Damn. Um, yeah, we might need some more solar for this outpost. Um, what was I coming to pick up? Ammo. And probably media defense installations. Oh, advanced research, advanced tech cards already 27% done. I wonder how that gel build is going. Uh, we've got like 50k. That's weird. Oh. Oh yeah, I did the meth. I, I, meth? I did the meth. I did the meth based on how much bioelectric data I had delivered there. Uh, we're still waiting for sick biomass. But there should be enough data cards to get 60k neural gel. Once we have the other stuff. Don't do drugs, kids, indeed. Also, don't do shortages of food, water, and I guess just a break. I'm going to need that soon. Let's see how much power we've got now that all of our solar panels are uh, placed. Uh, don't tell me we have exactly 1k. Surely not. Well, let's pretend we do. 
is uh yeah 280 megawatt isn't it hurry up brain that's decent it's a start apparently we've only got 263 actually i think the bar might stop being yellow the moment that some of these charge yeah no we do have 263 okay And do we... we certainly should have... another media defense. So this is, um... What's drawing all the power? The East Elevator, probably. 95 megawatt from... Some of the guns are still charging. And the elevator... Does it draw power when it's not really doing anything? I would imagine it would draw some, right? Let's grab space rail... And get this thing started. And... I feel like we're going to need more energy. Since we've barely got enough... to have a surplus right now. I think we should probably double it. Why does it always skip tiles when I do this? Whoops. So we're obviously going to need another trip to make that happen. Oh right, it's not going to be double, is it? I do want to measure out exactly how many solar panels we can fit, actually. Brrr. physically have to place them. This goes up to here. Give me some more. In fact, just delete all of those ghosts. There. That goes there. And goes approximately there. Perfect. And perfection.
Two out of two medias destroyed already. Three shots, fine. Alright, let's go get ourselves some more scaffolding. Wait, we've got a little bit more here. Even though I'm sure we'll have scaffolding in excess after another trip. Oops. Let's go to Foenestra first, otherwise it'll take 40 minutes. Each direction. And... Rip trees. How's that clearing coming along, though? I am not seeing a whole lot of biters. There's some. And there's a few more. We're getting there. Certainly I think there's enough that we can start... Um... Where's the middle? Here it is. Certainly I think there's enough that we can start building our rail network. Looking at this build, maybe I should start... Taking drugs? Wait, what? Radiant slip, indeed. Doing meth helps explain the seven hour straight streams without a break. Oh no. Look, the show must go on, right? Most of the time. Oh, we still haven't built these research servers. Wasn't that why we were making AI cores? Yeah. I did finish the AI core blueprint. I think we'll maybe put it here. Let's consider what goes into it. Um, Vitalic Reagent is really the only one we have to worry about for how fast it's going to be eventually, theoretically. I could put it, like, here. Oh, these were all supposed to be left... To bring a space to bring stuff up the elevator but I don't think we're gonna need as much space as I reserved for that um, it's a pretty short trip anyway I need to do some LTN uh, what you call them I, I need to do some LTN depots that aren't way over here as well. Put a couple of them over here. Okay. Where do I want to put this? Up here, I think? AI core. Looks kind of cool. In a weird way. And scaffolding train go burr. Morpheus, thank you very much for the 14 months. Much appreciated. And welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you go. Cannot thank you enough. How are you doing? Saw an interview with the two surviving members of Rush the other day. They talked about 22 gigs on 22 consecutive days in 22 different venues. Gotta do what you gotta do. If that takes a hit. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. What time is it? 9.30. Yeah, I should probably take a break. Probably the fact that I've stopped feeling particularly hungry isn't necessarily good. What's also not necessarily good is that I added these rails that I didn't want to add. Let's see if I can tidy them up. Might not be as difficult as it looks. And then this 
one. And this one. And this one. And this one. Uh, and these, obviously. Is that it? It wasn't so hard to clean up. Probably don't need this many signals here. That probably doesn't belong there either. I'm thinking it should be like this, actually. It doesn't really matter, but... It could theoretically affect traffic. Alright, before our train leaves... Let's add our blueprint properly. Oh. Now I need to do this again. Oh no. Um, I could pause the game, or I could do this. Quick, while he's not looking. No, no, wait, no, wait. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. We got there eventually. Alright, the easy stuff is on its way to AI Core. It is, of course, going to bottleneck on Vitalik Reagent. But theoretically, or eventually, it's done. Let's go back and get some more scaffolding. Jet lag is absolutely killing me. Came back from the EU from the US West Coast yesterday. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Alright, I think that's as good as time as any. Um, we're in transit. I will activate this so it auto clamps. Then we'll automatically load our scaffolding. Uh, then we'll drop in on LTN screensaver. Get ready for some words on stream. It's not agonizingly slow today, just as well. I forgot to prepare it ahead of time. I don't know why our UPS is as good as it is today. I really don't. Like, the stuff that I did, clearing up some old crap, I don't think that's enough to account for it yet. Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Please give me blueprint this box. This box. Do you mean the thing I just built? Oh, the rail blocks. Uh, yeah, you can find those on the Discord. Alright, words on stream time. See you soon.
Okay, where are we? Oh, hey. Here comes the scaffolding. Right on time. How are we doing on words on stream? Smashing level four. Nice, nice. Might continue that later. I say that, but these days I never end up getting around to a second break. Okay. Uh, so here comes our scaff. Might have to give it a minute to fill up, but I think I want to head out there again as soon as. Can we get some better roboports? I think I looked at this before. Oh! We can totally get it once we have advanced tech cards. And it doesn't even cost any bioscience. Which means we should be able to get it pretty much instantly. Hmm. Alright. Maybe we should work on advanced tech card build. Bonk? What are we bonking for? Oh, words on stream. Right, right, right. Gotcha. Why all the accumulators around the construction ship? Uh, this is just where I had some room. And the reason that we have any accumulators at all is mostly because of the space elevator. There's a big spike in power usage whenever a train goes through it. It's not that much power overall, but it it's a very thin but very tall power spike. Alright. Um... What's our overall throughput of, uh, reagent? Where is it? Here it is. Ooh, it's very, 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 very spiky. We're extremely, compared to the build we've got, we're extremely bottlenecked on providing the resources. But over the last 10 hours, we're looking at... 48.3 per minute, less than a stack. So over a hundred minutes for each train load. That's not so great. Almost done loading the scaffolding. I wonder how long trains need to be to be at the same time at both ends of the elevator. Uh, okay, so, spoiler, like, not to ruin the magic, but the way the space elevator works, um, I'm pretty sure it basically destroys trains as they go into them and creates them at the other end. That's why, if you look at the train ID of our, well, any train, but we can read this one right here, uh... Our train ID on the construction train up here is 206,000. Um, because it's always, that number's always going up. It doesn't reuse old ones. Alright, are we just about done receiving scaffolding here? We are. We're all refueled. We got water everything. Fantastic. Back to Foenestra. I think we've probably never failed um... To collect our core fragments in a long time. Yeah, 10 hours flatline. 3k per minute. So this is where we made the outpost, uh, or, or finished the outpost properly. And then this is where we had too many Vitamlange core fragments for our processing. 
and this is where we're bottlenecked on Vit core fragments themselves again. 80A till we need to change destination is four minutes. Uh, let's design ourselves. This is going to be on the ground, actually, isn't it? Uh, tech card of the advanced variety. No, it's in it's in space. Okay. Could probably keep that rail. And fleeting. It is a waste of resources, honestly, using the nice plating, but they are resources that we're extremely not bottlenecked on. Um, we need advanced research servers, right? I'm pretty sure we can use the regular servers, but I don't want to. One, two, three, four, five, six inputs, one output. Hmm. Hmm. Should I steal from myself to get started here? We don't need any fluids, though. And we don't need two output stations. Let's do a little decon planner. Wait, I think I have this somewhere. Space pipe. No? Huh, I have space belt. Twice. For deconstruction planners, but not space pipe, apparently. Let's make one. Space pipe. And then three, five, seven, nine, fifteen. Get out of here. Space. Oh, get rid of these. Oh, they're already correct, actually. Weirdly enough. Um, but yeah, basically, this on the left is what I was thinking of stealing from. Except I need to put in the advanced research servers. And now I can't tell where they were going to go because of the pipes. Whoops. Maybe I should have stolen from myself from this build. There we go. Wait, why did I just hear da 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 noise? Is our train okay? It's not cycling, is it? It is cycling. What the hell? Did a bot just crawl back? Maybe? check on our other construction train. Okay, this one's settled. So this one should be settled eventually, right? Why did I just see a destroyed construction bot in the train? I think I just saw some bots jump out to grab something. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, no. Every time a bot explodes, uh, this, these construction bots have priority to pick them up for some reason. And then that throws this thing off. Oh, no. Uh, it's 
So until the bots have finished going around in circles here. Why are they going in circles? We're not building that much, are we? Are we? Heat shield, heavy girder... Surely we have... White lists for those. Yeah, we do. What the hell? Where's the heavy girder one? There it is. We're requesting one stack and whitelisting two stacks in this chest. I don't understand. Bots prioritize looking after their own. Now, the problem is when we've got our construction train sitting here, whenever there's a construction bot job, including picking up a broken construction bot to bring it back to be fixed. Um, it's it's always the construction bots that are in the player's personal roboports or a vehicle or something that act before the stationary robot network, which means every single time that a bot crashes here because we've got lots of bots flying around, um, it's going to reset the construction train. We're not going to have that problem on the ground because I just don't allow having lots of bots. I limit it to 50. It's not as bad up here with the bot interference wind. Um, but yeah. I for one welcome our bot overlords, indeed. How's power? Power should be fine. Especially since we've got... I mean, this is a temporary energy store, but... Which is actually very, very slowly being drained. Because we're occasionally... Yeah, there's a little puff of steam. Uh, every, every time we should be dipping into the accumulators, we dip into the steam from this thing. And also from any spaceships that happen to be landed. Um, yeah, occasionally you'll see a puff of steam from a spaceship that's just sitting here. It's the energy spikes from when trains go through the space elevator. Um, bomb butter orbit, please. Thank you. Um, alright, well, I guess that fixes itself. Back to the design. I wanted to put this about here. And use the same layout. What's the recipe I'm looking for? Advanced tech card. We don't need any pipes. But now I can see where I wanted to put those. That makes sense, actually. Okay. So what are we looking for? Six inputs. Oof, owie. We can put two of the inputs down the middle, I suppose. Uh, how much do we need throughput-wise? A lot. More than half of a deep space belt down one column for Immersium gear wheel. Oh, but the rate of tech cards is probably way more than we need. Um, because we're getting like three per second for various... various space tech card builds. Um, and presumably we need one advanced tech card for, like, energy... per energy science pack three. Not that one tech card translates to one energy science pack. 
but I get the feeling that the build we're going to make is going to be much faster than me, probably. Okay. Should I even bother to build it that big? I could just do two half blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six inputs. Hmm. I don't love the idea of needing a dedicated build for pylons either that we export into the rail system. What does it what does it take to make a pylon? Uh these four. Well that's not so bad. We could do it next door. Bigger equals better? It doesn't actually deal with their supposed overpoweredness, just makes them more annoying to use. The uh, bot interference wind? Yeah. Maybe set base for construction train a little further and they can stay at this station for like 30 seconds of inactivity. Yeah. Um, originally I had a whole other robot network down here on the surface uh, to load the construction train. Maybe that's still a good idea, actually. I think the overall throughput that we're needing for this is not so high now, though. Um, but yeah, like, at our outposts, like the one we're going to build right now, that we're heading back to, here I've actually got two robot networks just so that... Well, two reasons. Um, we can have 50 logistic bots in a robot network without any penalty, with no bot interference wind. But also, um, I actually don't want the bots taking from this container to deliver to the opposite side of the spaceship. Bots are exponentially more efficient if they're traveling a shorter and shorter distance. Um, so I put all of the... I put all of the containers um, close to the sides, so the bots have as short of a trip as possible. And we've got two separate robot networks, so that they're not crossing the entire spaceship. But yeah, maybe uh, maybe another robot network supplied by train system to load the construction train might actually be a better idea. Because we're going to catch... <laughs> if we don't change the way this works... And I don't see how we could avoid changing it. I mean, I, I don't see how we could... Um, not have it empty when the bots get imbalanced. Because it's not like we can detect that bots are coming back, right? And we can't detect how many bots are in an individual cargo wagon. So unless I limit this whole block to only having 50 logi bots, um, it would probably be a good idea to have like a construction train loader over here that isn't in the same robot network. Actually, it would need to be further away because the construction train can reach really far. And it'll still, even if the bots have to go further, it'll still prioritize the construction bots from the train doing whatever work it is. So really, I need, like, a construction train loading system down here, I guess? a bit of a nuisance. Normally we don't have this much bot activity though. This is because we're playing catch up for a bunch of stuff that um, was taken by the ship, I think. Alright, let's land. And... And what? First things first, solar power. That's why we made another trip.
two off. To the left. What? I flew into the ship again. I don't mind the bots having to build the edge of it. That won't take them very long. these up here. I don't think we need any more um, accumulators. They're approximately measured to handle the energy spikes from when the train goes up or down the space elevator. They should be more than enough actually. On the other hand I probably don't even have enough um, probably don't even have enough solar panels to fill out the difference. Give me some panels. Fantastic. I love the spaghetti of wiring. Show, show me the same build, but neater. I'll gladly step you through the logic. Hmm. I wonder if I could add a timer or something so that... Oh, I probably could. Let me think about this. If bot equals 147, start a timer. If timer gets up to... No, that wouldn't even help, because... Once a bot jumps out here to do something... Another bot's going to be put in. It's going to be off balance. It doesn't matter. Unless I were to add something to say don't put any more bots in once we've reached 147, which, given the shape of combinators, uh, what, I would have to like, oh, if green signal output... Construction bot, input count, constant combinator, negative construction box. Where's that green wire going? Only to inputs, right? And then connect it just to these guys. So basically we're saying... Well, that's not going to help, because that's going to drop immediately. 
Hmm, I could say if construction bot greater than uh, 12, what's 12 times 3? 147 minus 36. Ban Bancha, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How about if construction bot greater than 111? Oh, great. Because of the way signals work in this. What I want to say is if we've got more than 111 construction bots output negative lots construction bots. But only after that's the case. I, I guess I would need like a arithmetic. If construction box greater than 110, output construction bar, I'll just times one, and then times negative a lot. So basically we're saying if there's already 110 construction bots, as in the inserters should be on their last swing, if they're putting bots in, uh, if we're past that point, send a negative signal, negative a million construction bots to these inserters, so that if we're... If we've got 147 bots and then one of them jumps out, don't put another bot in. And then we'll just wait for it to come back and remove the deconstructed, uh, re remove the bro broken construction bot. That might be all it takes, maybe. Maybe, maybe. These are the only inserters that put construction bots in. I kind of want to see, um, I want to see it load. That should function as normal, except right at, oh, that was too quick. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, when it puts the construction bots in, we should see yeah, it's too fast. I need to slow-mo it. We should see the filter for construction bots on these inserters uh, disappear. Wait, no, we've got 110 or so, don't we? Hmm. 116. Plus 36. 152. How did that happen? 37, 42, 37, so it is imbalanced. Output another red signal. Empty it. What? Okay, now we've got 48 each. How did that happen? There should be 49 each. What the hell? And now it works? I didn't see any bots jump out of the cargo wagons. What's the difference? I, I think it just... I think it's just working now. I do wish we could somehow turn off the robot bots when the train is parked. That would, that would solve this problem very elegantly. Hmm. Oh, well, let's focus on this for the moment. 
Um, give me some more accumulators. I suppose. Magic? <laughs> no magic. How much power do we have? 531 megawatts. So, uh, we've got like 300 to spare. That should be far more than enough. Uh, that's enough for... Actually, only 12 core mining drills. Hmm. We might have to... We might have to add some more solar panels after all. I've got signals, I've got train stops, don't need LTN train stops right now. Um, not going to need a whole lot of regular rail signals. Or chain signals for that matter. Don't need all these construction bots either. Don't need any unloaders. Going to need a bunch of bulk rail loaders. Don't need any scaffolding right now. Flew into the ship again. <laughs> it's becoming very common. I'll need a lot of lighted pylons and a few substations. And... I can't think of anything else right now. Let's just get to it. Oh yeah, we'll need drills. I don't really want to have to come back for the drills. Uh, I can carry five to start with. Um, let me just put some more lighted pylons back in here. Okay. First of all... Wait, did I make a tag for our most recent outpost? I don't think I did. Well, it's not really our most recent outpost. It's an upgrade to our old outpost. Let's add a pin here. Wait, what? Create new pin. And what was I calling these? Outpost pickup. Planet Orbit. No, wait, we're naming it for the type of core fragment. Where is it? Here it is. Gibbel Orbit Outpost Pickup. Fantastic. And this one? Uh, this will be Vitamolange core fragments, right? That's why we're here. Oh. Create new pin. Outpost pickup. I think I forgot to include that. And... No, I did not. Cool, cool, cool. Do I have a umbrella here? Umbrella, I do. Could you please... No, I think I'll grab it myself. Just let the bots grab it out of my hand. No? Huh, I thought they would... Okay. That took a lot of energy for a moment. 
Do you have trains? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the... They're in the ship. Now, the reason I was flicking through that was so that I could steal this. And yes, I will landfill that. If I had any landfill on my person. Well, at least it's not blocking bits that we actually have to remember. Now it goes down. And our first drill is right here. Convenient. I didn't bring blue belt. Dang damn it. Gonna need some scaff. Why am I still carrying 200 logistic tech cards? Again. Oh no. Blue belt, blue belt, blue belt. Actually, let me control click these. And then, should be fine, probably. And yeah, the trains are always in this chest. We do have trains. I didn't request any big personal batteries, though. Uh, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 per train times 3, 18. We've got 8. Unfortunate. We meant to get landfill. That's also unfortunate. Um, have some. Have some arithmetic combinators. I won't be needing those. On planet. Research stopped, indeed. It's just resource bottlenecked, I'm pretty sure. No more landfill than we need. And where should we go for the next drill? I think we'll have a Give me the smallest corner. Is that really as small as it gets? I guess so. I'll have some rail behind the spell evader. the usual little loop back around this way. Uh, is that really as small as it gets? Must be. There we go. And then this should be able to turn up like this. Fantastic. Um, and then we just keep going this way. I 
If we want these core fragments. I wish I could force these to orient a certain way after they after they've been used every time. There we go. Front left. Like here. Can I pick it all these? I can. Off you go. I'm just going to decon these because when I place the blueprint again, it's not going to do the wiring properly otherwise. There we go. What are you laughing at? It's just moving trees around by remote control with a satellite. It's perfectly reasonable. And let's get our first drills going. Oh, that's fast. 10 per second by itself. Also, I need uh, blue unloaders. Get out of here, coal. I'm already out of landfill is what I thought for a second. What the heck is that? What if I want the trees up? Coronal mass ejection, Arione orbit. Okay. I don't think I've even ever looked at Arione. Wait, did it say Arione orbit? Yeah, it did. How do you spell it? E double R I, why is it not finding it? E double R, include moons, include planet orbits. Wait, is it warning me about a coronal ejection for a surface that I haven't found yet? It is. Oh, it's a star. So I was wrong about that, I th guess. But yeah, we've never viewed this surface. Why is it warning us about a... a CME? Where even is Arione? None of these ring a bell. It's way over here. Okay. Doesn't, it's not like there's something special here that it's somehow triggering it. Delete surface. Okay. And we'll probably go down this way as well. So we'll need double signals there. Also, let's have a look at science. What are we missing? It's not Bio 3. Astro 3, Energy 3. Uh, it's energy three. Okay. Or is that okay? What are we missing? Energy two, energy one, chromium plate. Maybe I was more than a little hasty. 
bringing all of this energy one over here. Let's change these back down to 400 each. Until we have really obscene uh, throughput. I just caught myself standing on rail and suddenly was horrified, and then I remembered there are no trains on this planet. Would have thought bio would be that one. Yeah, 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 me too. I guess that gives uh, reagents a little while to catch up. So I guess we're bottlenecked on holmium. Um... Let's check if it's Holmium Core Fragments or Processing. Holmium, is this it? No, yes. I don't think it's Core Fragments. Didn't we make a bunch of new processing? We can deal with 48 Four fragments per second. And it's totally saturated. Uh, okay, if we're short on Holmium and this thing is just about to fill up after a train took away the Holmanite, I think the processing down the line is probably a little bit too slow somewhere. Even though we've got this gargantuan build. Um, 192 Holmanite per second. Is that really slower than... No? Where are you taking that? Just where I was looking. How the hell... Are we... Do we have a huge Holmanite mine that I've forgotten about that's still active? on this planet? Surely it's... surely they've run out by now. Oh, right. So we Crushed Holmanite is saturated. And... Crush, crushed Holmanite is saturated. So we need another one of these, it looks like. Yeah, I think we need another one of these. The Mr. Dart, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this thing emptying? Would have thought, yes, 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 yes. Okay, uh, I think we shall create another block like this. And see if that's all it takes to shift that bottleneck. We need advanced chemical plants and filtration plants. Eight filtration plants. I don't know if we usually carry those. We do. We might just be able to get this all done with no effort. Whoops. Uh, and that will potentially, well, for a time, it definitely will double our Holmium throughput. But it'll, it'll maybe be working through a backlog. Yeah, this is empty. Holmium powder, that's our bottleneck. Uh, our ion beads our bottleneck? Hmm. This sort of dodgy sushi build starts going at half speed after a while. Uh, I think I need, like, a container here that I should be using with this. No, there's already a train schedule. Oh, no.
Yeah, we should probably... Probably put in a 4x4 four four. here or here, it doesn't really matter. This one lines up with this container actually. One, two, three, so that we can do belt input control. Don't let the train in just yet. How many inputs do we have? Three solids, that is. We do have blue belt here still, right? Did we run out? We might have run out. In the train, that is. Well, that makes it a bit more difficult to patch this. Red wire. Just to read from the container. And we need beads, crushed holmanite, copper plate. Crushed holmanite, copper plate. Beads, crushed hormonite, copper plate. Uh, we want to give, I think it's 60 stacks each. Or 80. No, I want to leave plenty of room for stuff to recycle, just to be safe. Um, so 60 times 200. 12k. And 3k, if it's a quarter of that, right? And 6k. And then copy that here, copy that here. Um, I think I need to return the train home to get this fixed up. And then come back here again, please. The bots are hovering, that might be a problem. Probably sort itself out. Okay. I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to update this one as well. Does it? And then we need to take our filtered outputs. Are these filtered? Yeah, there we go. And here. Uh, that one might be a little bit of a problem, but I think I see the solution. Actually, move this over a bit. Does it matter which side of the belt things are on? Doesn't look like it. Is 
So this is gonna go here. And like this. What does it consume more of? They're the same. Okay. That looks a bit off. It doesn't help that the animation makes it look like the belts are going backward. But... Well, that's a little bit awkward, isn't it? Mm. If I bring it down... Let me bring it down. That's in a very awkward spot. Ravna. Fine. That should be functional. And that should be copper plate. These are already filtered. Bring that down a tile, why not? And then patch it over here. Okay, that should be a lot more robust. And not go down to 50% speed after a while. Maybe that's actually all I needed to do. 97 holmium powder per second. What does this supply or require? 153 in theory, actually. Well, I guess it's good that we just double this. We need some beads and some some hy hydrogen chloride. Are we short on that? I haven't had to think about that for a long time. There's 98,000, which probably means... Uh-oh. That train's picking it up for something else. That one's picking it up for something else. Oh, no. Wait, we've got barely, like, 70k here. Oh, no. Wait, do we have two of these builds? Not that I can see. Is this our new bottleneck? It may well be. Can I borrow you for a minute? I forgot to include hydrogen chloride in the station name here. Don't tell me LTN just scheduled this after all. No, it's a different train. There we go. There we go. That's looking much more reliable. Since we've basically got a merger splitter. It's linked to the recycling of this stuff. Why? Mm -hmm. Why couldn't you just place that in the first place? Whatever. Go forth and... 
fix your inventory. Alright, so let's see our stats for Calga. Uh, the baseline is pretty obvious. There's our dip from when we stopped it. And it looks like we're going to double it pretty comfortably. Cool. And holmium, molten holmium. We should be making more ink. Uh, ingots in a moment. That missing belt is red in the other pla- oh. Oh, that was deliberate. Was it deliberate? I feel like if I- if this was deliberate, it would have just been here, right? As opposed to like blue, red, blue. Also, that needs a purple belt. I think if these two are merging in here 50-50, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Alright, where's our train? Ready to go, fantastic. Go fix up more of my mistakes, please. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You know what? Just, just run a lap and fix that, and then those bots will chase you back home. It's, it's fine. It, it's fine. It'll sort itself out. This is fine. And here comes the rest. Beautiful. That probably means an increase in a powder. Yes, indeed. Cool. Yeah, so we should we should end up with more or less four times what we had before, because a lot of the time this was only utilized at fifty percent. Very good. All right, let's continue building some rail. Phew. Speaking of pew pew, sort of, just started playing around with the tag in uh, Macquarie 5. I found three of them for sale and I somewhat foolishly upgraded them all into one tier 2. Uh, I have a catapult that I put four LRM 15s on. And suffice to say, it's a bit more effective with a 10% reduced missile spread. And they're already quad uh, stream launches. LRM-15 stream. It's kind of weirdly hilarious pointing deadly laser pointer at giant robots. Alright, let's get our... Do we still have the corner in the copy-paste? Sort of. Should probably figure out where this fits first. Front left. Looks good. Right about here, actually. And remove 
remove the straight rail from there. Unless we end up going further down, which we probably will. Be gone, trees. Uh, are any of those still in the way? Probably. You know what else you can move around from the navsat with piccadillies? This is the traditional dance of my people. I still didn't pick up the express loaders? Tack nabbit. Um, Alright, let's go maybe... straight down this way. Don't tell me that doesn't reach. How dare you. How's this? Probably too far in the opposite direction. No. Fine, we'll do a diagonal. Ruin everything. So how's that graph looking, son? Very, very good. How about ingots? Are we getting any more yet? Oh, my spikes. I think we've got more ingot processing than we need compared to how much fluid we were making. We'll see if that uh, remains to be the case. You clipped it? Nice. Thanks, Veldak. Should probably be the first thing someone sees when they come to the channel. Up we go. Give me my blue loaders. Uh, give me my blue lo loader. No, 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 that's not true. That's impossible. I can handcraft nine of them. Oh no. Is this really all of the blue belt that I have? How much would it cost? Okay, it's only one express transport belt. And it's fast loaders that's the bottleneck. This only gives me... This only lets me finish two uh, train stations. Are we actually, like, out of express loaders here? Kinda? But we're only trying to make two things right now. Did I... No? Oh, you're joking. I switched it off at some point. Oh no. That that's that's a pretty dumb reason to be God knows how many light years away from home without express loaders. Whoop. 
Oops. I don't know why I was typing bracket core. Are we looking for AI core core fragments? First time here, how many hours do you have in this playthrough? Uh, 24 days, 9 hours, actually. It's a long one. I forgot to request space manufactories. Um, I'm thinking the back is most likely to have some room. That's probably why I had it here. that should get built with no further attention. Uh, it's going to be a while though before we have metallic reagent or bioelectric data delivered here. How much bioelectric data are we making? Zero in the past hour. 15.8 per minute over the last 10. Well, that's why we're at this planet making a Vitamelange outpost. Speaking of... Uh, that's... that's Nalvis. That's my muscle memory. We're supposed to look at Vazanus orbit. And indeed, we are still scorching biters. Not that many left. But enough. It'll it'll still be hours, I think, to finish off the biters on this planet. So I should I should probably bear that in mind as I walk around on the planet without a care in the world. Starting some iridite iridium. Forget the exact spelling. Uh, not sure. I'm a fan of the processing. I mine up the ore, then crush it. Like half of the ore just disappears. <laughs> Indeed. I get like one third of crushed per ore, then the next combine also looks lossy. I guess it's a purity thing? Uh, but yeah, that means... Well, we already have 220 loaders. It's like a 10 minute trip back, including the amount of time that I forget to change the destination when I get to Phonestra. Let's just do it now. Wait, 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 wait. No. No 40 minute trip. Phonestra first. 4 minutes 41 times 2. And then same time to get back, and that's assuming that I change destination the moment we get to Phonestra, and also discounts losing all of our speed, which doesn't cost that much when we do change destination. We still haven't built all this? Okay, most... The, the big machines make sense, but the belts need doing. Hey, it's been built. Cool. So we will eventually get AI cores... And I do mean eventually. Let's go build all of these. So I'm using somewhat smallish piles on other moons. Probably more unhappy with it because I don't have a great planet for Iridite yet. Yeah, it's hard to find a good one early on. Especially Iridite, it's very slow. There's one, but it has biters. I'm hoping to delay going there until I have better weapons, yeah. Like, we've been slow on barrel, and look at our nearest planet. Over 9,000 radius, 21%, and that's solar, sorry. 100% uh, biter threat, rather. <laughs> We're not clearing that with uh, with an energy beam. 
Well, we could. It, it would take a long time. We are clearing 5.6k radius Nalvis with an energy beam. And we've got like 63% transmission efficiency as opposed to like 51-52% is what we have pointing at our planet. So I guess if we put a lot... Well, not that much. Uh, if we put a bit more time into expanding our solar array at the sun, um, and make another really big energy beam or two, uh, we could clear it with energy beams. Or we could use a virus bomb for once. That's a lot of energy input. Purpose is to kill biters, not to atomize them. There is no overkill. There is only open fire, and I need to reload. Besides, with the... Uh, what are they called? Tanky biters, basically. With this mod, we got some, some very, very, very tough biters. 9,000 hit points. This one. Here we go. What's he got? Sit still for a sec. Don't run back into the beam. What is this? A pleasant shower for you? 27,000 hit points and regeneration to match it. I had 13 beams. Each had 6 injectors. Do you get less... I haven't really noticed or tested. Do you get less radius? out of less energy pumped into the beam, or is it just a smaller amount of damage uh, at radius? How does that virus bomb work? I don't know, I've never tried it. What happens once the biters are all dead? Uh, what I do know about the vi virus bomb is it'll kill every living thing on the planet. Um, and it actually turns Vitamelange planets into coal planets. Even the core fragments, apparently. I really hope I don't get any armored biters. You have to have the mod, I believe. That biter is just getting a nice tan, <laughs> indeed. I'm, uh, I'm seeing still mostly a mix of blue and green biters. Yeah, uh, I did add a couple of biter mods to make them more scary. Unfortunately, I had to turn off Rampant, because when we had um, about about this much territory on Nalvis, well, as you can see where the walls are, um, when, when the front for the Biters was like here, for the most part, all of a sudden, and, and I really do mean suddenly, um, UPS dropped from 60 to like 15 or 10. Uh, I think Rampant scheduled, like, every biter on the surface to attack or something. And they were all pathing at the same time. So, unfortunately, I had to turn that off. These are not biters, they are yummy lost. <laughs> Tinners, welcome in. Ronald, welcome also. Your title says part 87. Do you upload all parts to YouTube? Uh, I try to. Unfortunately, I can't automate it the way I would like to. Um, I do have a much bigger buffer since I got partnered though, so it's, uh, I think it's like, what, two months that you can see back in the VODs? It's pretty generous. Alright, we are just about at Bow and Astro. We're also just about at time to finish for today. We will continue tomorrow. Hopefully I won't have to start late, depending on when someone shows up. Um, but yeah, it's good to be back in the 50s all the time for you. Uh, no, no, make me wrong. Make me wrong. Well, up until now, every time I've looked at UPS today, it's been 55 plus. Maybe it's actually because we're clearing more biters from Nalvis. 
that might actually be the reason, the, the main reason that UPS is coming back. And yeah, it drops pretty dramatically when you zoom out on the map. This, this part's not so efficient. Look at that, let's just zoom in here, it'll go back up to whatever the maximum is right now. So question, if I'm trying to minimize my erudite use, can I make significant data with, like, Vita? Uh, well yeah, there's lots of options for sig data. I go for universal simulation as soon as I can, because that's the most efficient. But it is dependent on all four uh, sciences, basically. Uh, we need catalogs from... We need catalogs from all four sciences, right? To make the... To make the insights. And the more tiers of catalogs that you put in, the more efficient it is. And you stop getting blank data cards coming out as well. Um, but you, there's a whole bunch of recipes to make. Well, let's look at it this way. Significant data. There's 15 recipes. You can do just one type of input. You can do any two types of inputs, any three types of inputs. And there's also uh, universal simulation. Cool, thanks, but do you plan to upload everything to YouTube? It would be nice to have one place to follow the series. Uh, yeah, eventually. I do have a couple of times I've missed an episode, though. I guess the question was that the significant data is interchangeable. Oh, yes, yes it is, absolutely. Somehow. Don't think too hard about it. All right. Uh, let's find someone to raid. And... Say hello. Probably should have loaded that sooner since I left my browser on like 1% CPU. Rain is playing? Space exploration? Why not? Okay, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out, Evil Plum, and everyone else as well. Take care, Ben Wu. And let's say hello to Rain. See you later, Teague and Fatboy. And off we go. Have a good day. You too, Ian. Ah, uh, this isn't even where I want this. I think I want it down here. So let's get rid of these cliffs. Ah, uh, do I have cliff removal? Hey, t how are you doing? Happy Tuesday, my friend. It's a rain of tacos.